Hello, everybody. My name is Mira, and welcome back to New Amsterdam, our cyberpunk hellscape, where we just had a very enriching conversation about how money rules everything and is a construct, but actually is the only construct that buys, buys you bread, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Speaking about money, though, to start off, we're leaving off right where we left off, which means we're going to be starting with cash. Now, cash, well, yeah. you've got, uh, you, you are approaching the night market in De Pip. Uh, mm -hmm. with, um, you're approaching the night market in Depip with, um, your fiance, um, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, it is raining, um, yes. you know, as always, it's pelting down foul smelling acidic rain, um, which, right. you know, everyone's got slickers to protect against it mostly, except for the poor. You probably walk right. by a couple of homeless people with holes in their shoes and such, you know, but this, oh. so is life in Amsterdam. It's, yeah, right. this is. This is something you're probably desensitized from, especially from being from uh, from L.A., uh, the yeah. L.A. area. It is something yeah. you're very desensitized to. Homeless people be right. everywhere. It's just uh, in L.A., they bake to death on the streets instead of drown. Um, right. Which still is awful. Like, yeah, for real. But yeah. I get it. I'm there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, so I don't. Yeah. Um, They're just on the fringes of my vision, which is right. Sad. Exactly. Sad. Um, walk fast. Don't respond. That's the classic. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the New York shuffle, as they call it sometimes. But yeah, whatever the case, um, you uh, are approaching and you see three figures that you recognize. You see Crumb Kennedy or Crumb Kennedy. <laughs> uh, you see Crumb Kenny. You mm -hmm. see uh, Requiem. Uh, mm -hmm. And you see Switch. Um, they are. I forgot last. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, they're all kind of standing there waiting under some tarp or something. And you see before you a great big tech market. Um, you were let in on this by um, by Gecker, um, the mm -hmm. contact who you bought your deck from, the sketchy yes. one. 
uh, yeah. he, he kind of gave you a uh, heads up that this was going to be going on. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, as you approach, uh, you and Trixie approach, and she goes, eh, are these your guys? Uh, uh, tentatively, tentatively. Yeah, and uh, you know, you approach, and Swift looks, and Crumb Kenny, who is not dressed for the rain, gives you a big goofy wave, and you know, Requiem kind of gives you a head nod and a grin, and uh, yeah. you know, uh, Trixie immediately, before you say anything, is like, hey, I'm the boss's boss. And kind of gives you a smile, or gives them a smile, and gives you a smile, and they all kind of nod and like, "Whoa, you know." Right, right, yeah. No, she'll she'll force me to cut you. It's it's a problem. So you know, yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. <clears throat> by the way, I have five undeclared contacts for the info dev. Would this be yeah. an opportunity to use those contacts to get some things I need for relatively inexpensive? Because honestly, I don't have a lot of cash to begin with. And I had every intention of selling the car to make cash out of that. If you want to say you have sold the car, that is yeah. totally fine. I would love to do that. How much would okay. I get for the car? It the was car. I've got I it actually it eighty, but I don't know how much I could get out of it. Uh, yeah, it was eighty k. Um, go ahead and give me a streetwise check. Okay, I can do this if I can find it. Okay. Fingers crossed. 18. 18 is not bad. Uh, you get 70 for it. Um, Ooh, that's exciting. It's, it's a we don't ask any questions about where this car came from right. uh, sort of thing. Because, you know, uh, this right. was owned by a virulently terrible, awful, disgusting man. So uh, right, right. who knows what happened in that car, if anything. That's, yeah, we don't, it's a don't ask, don't tell. Use it for parts, repaint it. I don't give a shit. I just need some money. Yeah, 18 is um, a great role. I mean, what is, oh, what yeah. is it? 24 is like legendary I or something so. like that for the DCs. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Cool. Just imagine so. the first couple you met were like, yeah, can we see the Carfax? And you were just like, <laughs> okay, you're not buying it. Yeah, well, yeah. If they saw the Carfax, I would have prefabbed some Carfax for them. I, like, I will say, you probably end up selling it to the River Rats. They're like the yeah. only people who buy that hot of a good, you know? Because, right. um, right. you know, normal people can't afford like that. Rich people mm -hmm. are going to buy it new, and most gangs know where it came from. So mm -hmm. the rats don't give a shit, you know? Right. Does that um, give me a better... River Rats is where... No, that's the Ren Sparrows. River Rats. Yeah. Are we, River am I in good with them then? Like a little? This was, the I match. mean, you've got, yeah, you've the got a good, people. say what? Oh, sorry. Um, That's the max yeah, people. That's all I was Yeah, the say. max sorry. people. Oh, no, okay. you're okay. Um, so we're, yeah. in a, we're in a good spot then. You're, like I gave I mean, them a good, good, and they're happy. And they, they will treat you as if you are in the good, whether you know whether you are or not. That's right. up to you. Uh, chances that's are fine. they take you for an edge runner who probably doesn't know the nitty gritty of the sales world and therefore mm -hmm. can take you for a ride on a later deal. You that's know what I mean? Fair. That's kind right. of the rat thing. Totally fine. Totally yeah. living for it. As long I, as I've got you, capital you probably, in this moment. You probably did not gain a contact from selling this car. You know what I mean? That's it was okay. probably yeah. something that was like, just like, hey, I know a guy, his name's Dimitri. You don't even know if his name's actually Dimitri. He paid cash. You're done. Yeah. yeah. You know what Honestly, I mean? He paid in a, all in I an ask for. But yeah. yeah. I'm that's solid. So yeah, Solid. you okay. you approach uh, this night market. You know, you got all the guys there, and probably from Kenny's like, I've never actually been to one of these things. This is sick as fuck. You think that it's they got like old games, like like like, uh, like on floppies? Um, uh, ooh, someone just placed a big ass order on my fucking shop. Nice. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I money in the bank. Uh, Hell yeah, they have floppies. Fuck me, dude. I guess. Are you still using floppies? Well, I mean, like, as a hobby. I'm like, I'm building a Commodore 64. I've got a pet. You know, I've got, um, okay. I'm working on a, a on a, a Macintosh 1. Um, right. You Go know. Or Tandy 80. Yeah, Tandy 80. There we go. He probably mentions, um, like, I've been trying to find the board for a Tandy, but all those things fucking melted. You know, right. I mean, it's, I, this it's a big place and people got a lot of shit to sell. So it's very possible you could probably cobble something together. I'd love like, to see it. He's like, hell yeah. Switch looks yeah. bored. Requiem is respectfully listening. <laughs> That's but, fair. Yeah. Um, I'm going to 
let's see. I guess we'll start having a walk. I want to kind of like sidle up to switch uh -huh. and just quietly be like, so where have I been in the last 24 hours? She's going to say, I make it a habit to not spy on my boss. Mm. Mm. Only prospective bosses. Right. Okay. Uh, can I roll like, is there like an insight that I can roll for that? Human oh. perception. All right. Uh, oof. Ooh. As far as you can tell. I mean, she's cold, but she's telling the truth. I mean, I'm not mad at cold. Cold I can live with. But, you yeah. know, shady as shit. I struggle. <clears throat> she doesn't, right. she doesn't seem, I mean, she always seems shady, but it's not like yeah. shady as in like, I'm out to get you more like shady as in like, you way have your much. fingers in way too many pies. Yeah. Right. Right. For sure. Yeah. Um, so what, what would we, what would we be here to buy? Like we're here to so, buy some shit, but what's our list? What's you're going to be looking made? for three things, right? Okay. You can delegate two of these things. You will have to find whatever the third that you choose is. Okay? Okay. You are going to need a central server unit. Mm -hmm. You are going to need... Um, you are going to need a high power SCSI adapters. That's going to help in masking your trace. Essentially, mm -hmm. what a SCSI adapter is, IRL. It was a type of adapter that was a broad data, uh, a, like a broad data cable, meaning that mm -hmm. it would accept a wide variety of data. A lot of hard mm -hmm. hackers would hook up all of their shit to SCSI because it also was really good to be like, I'm going to send this JPEG as a fucking, like, I'm going to send this JPEG as an MP3, like as an example. Not, right. not those actual files. It'd actually probably be like a .bto to a fucking... Like, I don't know, like to a monk file or some shit. Like, mm -hmm. old files are weird. Um, yeah. So you're going to need high power SCSI adapters because you're going to need to use those to transfer directly from the server, which is going to be a high data point. And mm -hmm. you are going to need a data, a secure data bank. A secure data. data bank. And it's going to need to be big. Uh, I'm thinking for a server that's going to be hosting uh, on the info dev, it's probably going to need um, what's above a terabyte again? Petabyte. Petabyte. Uh, petabyte. Yeah, Ooh. you're you're probably going to need like a like a probably like a thirty two to sixty four petabyte. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that's a lot. That's yeah. did you know that the human brain can only hold four petabytes of data? <laughs> I did not. That's neat. Yeah. <laughs> um, <That's>, yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, on top of that, I will allow you to declare two of your five info dev contacts here. The idea okay. that all five of them would be here, a little far fetched. Yeah. This isn't like yeah. city wide. This is just a pretty standard night market. Right. Um, but sure. yeah, um, that's what you're looking for. You've got your team with you. What's mm -hmm. the game plan? Okay. So <clears throat> the high power SCSI adapters feel fairly simple to acquire. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I'm going to have, uh, what's his name? Crumb Kenny uh -huh. peek around for those. I also sure. want Requiem to go with him okay. to just like, I want them to kind of keep an eye on each other. And okay. I will probably... As we're walking, maybe pull them casually aside and be mm -hmm. like, tell me your vibes on this person for each of them. Okay. Um, so I want, basically, I've got Requiem watching Crumb Kenny and Crumb Kenny watching Requiem because yeah. I want to hear their thoughts. So I'm going to send them off for the unit. Okay. Um, at some point, I'm going to send um, switch off for the uh, server unit. Okay. Uh, Oh, yes. No. Yes. No, I'm going to have her <laughs> go over the data bank. I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm going to tell her 64 at a minimum or uh, 32 at a minimum. Try to get a 64 if you can. Feel free to haggle. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, and I don't know if I'm supposed to give them money or just pay them when they come back with it or if they just find it and hit me up and let me know. That's probably the third option is probably how it's going to go, but you could give them money. 
I'm not going to give them money. Uh, no. Smart. <laughs> right, right. So I, it's going to be like a, you know, uh, hit me up on my agent when you've got something and send me a pin for your location. So even though it's not super big, I don't want to fucking travel a bunch to like, I'm lost. I hate that. Um, and for Switch, I'm going to give her my info dev contact. Okay. Uh, can I name him? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, you can name him if you want, or I can name him. Okay, so this guy's name is Roger. Roger? Yes. And, uh, Roger's a solid dude. He's never done me wrong. (laughs) Okay. And, um, I, knowing what I'm going into and knowing what I'm looking for, I will also contact Roger ahead of time and be like, I'm sending a prospect your way, probably. I don't know if it's going to be one, two, three, but... I need a vibe check on this person when you okay. when you catch him. Yeah, and, and um, I'm going to go make ahead. an addendum. His name is okay. Jay Roger. Uh, Jay Roger. Jolly Roger. Oh, fuck me. That's I his handle. It. Yeah. Okay. Jay Roger. I'm going to write that down right now. Yeah. All right. Um, probably still going to call him like Raj and shit. Like, oh, yeah, for, of course. Why not? Um, and yeah, just be like, I've, I've got a dude coming for me. Um, and I'll tell Switch, uh, go find Raj. Like, uh, you know, he'll give you what you need. He already knows what I'm looking for. And, okay. um, yeah, and I'll go off in search of this uh, central server unit Okay. with Trixie. Yeah. Shit, I'm half tempted to send Trixie with, tri- with Switch. Nah, fucker. We'll <laughs> just have a fucking date. We'll just, we'll just yeah. fucking do it. And That's I want to ask, yeah, and I want to ask Trixie's, like, perspective like how do you feel about these people um yeah so as you guys are kind of walking around going through this kind of market and i'm i'm talking like this is a market like the kind of thing where it's like someone's like like bpi port 75 bpi port mm-hmm. 75 you can talk me down to 60 bb fucking me sort of thing like <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, like yeah. you got people like yelling they're trying to drum up business you mm-hmm. get within a five foot radius of anybody they try and get your fucking attention you know, right. uh, I'm just how, how experienced, okay, so Cash Cash is experienced enough to just be like, fuck it, I'm ignoring all these people, unless they right. got what I've, I want. Exactly, um, like, occasionally something might catch my eye, but mm-hmm. I am trying to be very coy about looking at it, because I would rather not have a conversation if I don't need to have a conversation. Sure, and and you, you ask, you know, Trixie about, like, what are you feeling? She's like, well, I don't know, we ain't drank with him yet, so. Ooh, that's usually how I get my uh, that's usually how I get my vibes. That is great. We'll do that fucking after. So I don't know. You see anything here that catches your eye? Be careful. They will fucking hustle you. <laughs> yeah. And she's I mean, she's an artist, so she knows about art markets, which are almost as deadly as computer markets in New Amsterdam. Right. Right. Uh so she's she's probably looking around. She's like, eh. <sighs> my halo is a little bit little under but i can probably well, tinker with it you mind taking a look at it sometime i can or maybe i could buy you a new one because i never get to buy you nice new things and we did just you know sell the fucking whip so yeah <laughs> she's like we got a few oh, bucks in the pocket yeah and as you're kind of walking around you see a dude who have you ever played, uh, have you ever played, um, uh, Resident Evil? No, because I get scared easily, but my husband did, and I watched from under the cover. Okay. Are you familiar with the salesman from Resident Evil 4, the, what are you buying? Oh, no, not that one. I only know so, the guy from the village. So, for, it, that is Resident Evil 4, right? I don't those, remember. For yeah, I'm pretty other sure films. that's yeah. exactly who it is. Is that yeah. the one where he like sits and he's all like chunky monkey and he sits in the back of that thing and he like you can buy bullets? I'm pretty sure that's uh-uh. that's village, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. No, so you see this guy, he is wearing a hoodie. He's got like a an old dirty surgical mask on. His hoodie mm-hmm. was once black, but is now muddy brown from just mm-hmm. like age and it's tattered. And he's got yeah. underneath like this beat up white shirt. On his back, he's got like this big fucking sack that he like is unloading things from at his stall. Um, mm-hmm. and like, you know, uh, he's got like these tattered jeans on these big, thick, 
well-maintained boots. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you look at his stall and you see that there is a, a central server unit, uh, like a perfect one, a Silicon Industries, um, like it's a, it's a Silicon Industries, um, probably like AP 75, which is like a solid unit where I'm making things up Mm -hmm. right now. Babel. That's fine. Um, and it's, it's like weirdly mint condition uh but it looks perfect fit for what you're looking for like it it, this will be able to handle through traffic for like a lot of growth you know this would definitely be buying a little bit above what you need but you've got the hookup capabilities in the building you've got Mm -hmm. the dev throughput in the building to feed it for a while um Mm -hmm. without raising suspicion and these things are known for being pretty secure they're very okay. like point A, point B. There's no must, no fuss where someone could latch something in. Mm-hmm, for sure. Yeah. So noticing that, I'm going to like <clears throat> saunter over to the stall. I'm not going to immediately go for it. Yeah. I'm going to just kind of like filter through and, you know, maybe pick something up, look at it, check the model number, put it back and just kind of slowly make my way over to it and before you even get to the server he says Mm -hmm. servers twenty thousand firm Mm. like you haven't even say what i know it it doesn't make why is it so fresh listen this server goes 35k i'm offering 15k off let's say it was part of collateral Mm, got it. Um, Fresh wipe, no trackers. Scan it yourself. Mm, and like, like as he's saying that. that, he's pulling more shit out of his bag, and you see he pulls out a nice fucking um, a nice fucking halo. Ooh, that's yeah, he nice. pulls um, it out, and he's kind of like gently sets it on one of the shelves. It looks like he just got here. Right, right. Um, uh. I won't even fight you on the price if you throw that halo in. Kind of pauses for a moment and goes, this halo usually goes for 500, giving you big discount, used goods. Hmm. Fuck it. You've got deal. And he sets the halo right on top of the server. Got it. 20k. Fuck Mm. me. I mean, did I get ripped off? Uh, go ahead and make me a... Um, we made you make that ch- this check last week, and I don't remember what it's called. Was it programming? Uh, oh, was programming. it Cybertech? Cybertech. Oh. Uh, you did not get ripped off. In fact, uh, quite the opposite. It uh, okay. feels a little weird how cheap this was. Okay. Now, is that because it's a 1 or because it's an 18? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. 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 Yuck. Okay. I hate that part. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Stellar. I fucking pass the stick over. Yeah. And um. Anything else? Does he um, have anything else that looks nice, neat? It's a great question. Go ahead and make me a. Um, make me a cyber deck is now. Uh, um, system knowledge? No, that'd be something else. Awareness notes. Okay. Let's just make it simple. Yeah, you look around. Um, you see that he looks like he actually has a few demons for sale. Ooh. Yes. I don't have any more room on my deck. What do these demons look like? So, you find that there is a... Okay. So, you see that there is a... uh, You see that there is a Balron, and there is a Succubus. I do like a good succubus. How much is that one going for? 
Um, so you look, and uh, the succubus is going for fifteen hundred eddies. It's a hundred dollar. That's a hundred euro dollars more expensive than usual. Right, right, right. <clears throat> I just don't know if I need that. Shit. I don't know if I need that. Like, I love the idea of having more programs, but I also kind of like built up the skills so I could design my own. So maybe I would just peek at the design, okay. see how it was made, and then go, uh, I don't exactly you... have the room on my deck right now. So before you even say that, uh, he looks and goes, oh, no. Uh, like, before you say that, you, like, start to reach for it and goes, that one's not for you. How do we know each other? He kind of looks up and uh, you don't recognize him. He says, don't think we do, friend. Name is Remus. Hi, Remus. <clears throat> I'm... <clears throat> Give him a f- fuck it. I'm cash. And let me, let me. <laughs> there we go. Um, and uh, he kind of uh, says, um, Gosh, hmm. Yeah, that one, yeah. not your I've, type. No. Now I've got rep too. Like, I've got rep in the network, yeah. world, don't I? So if yeah, I say my name, people fucking know me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you actually say your name, and he says uh, he probably looks at you. He doesn't acknowledge your name. He, uh, you don't know if he does recognize it or doesn't. He has this weird line threading thing where he feels like he could totally yeah. not know who you are, or he knows exactly who you are. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? One right. of those weird kind of in betweener. Uh, and he right. says, um, "That one, feisty." Mind of her own. Uh, mm. Looking for good home. No oh, offense. He kind of says, mm, you seem like you have plateful. I might have my plateful. I don't know. When you say feisty, I just that just makes me curious. Jezebel likes to choose. You want oh. to buy, you can talk to her. And he's got like this old shit set up. Uh, and he, uh, grabs the, he grabs the stick and kind of twirls it in his hand and says, meet and greets free, you just bought a big server. I, I'm gonna look over at Trix and just be like, it's the should I look, without saying should I. Trixie is too busy looking at and calibrating the new Halo, and then she, like, looks at you and goes, you know, like shrugs. I know, like she wouldn't know. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't care. She's like, I don't know. This is your wheelhouse. I don't hack. I just cut BDs. Right, right, right. She's happy as a clam. Uh, fuck. Yeah, all right. I'll fucking dip in. Yeah. So you you uh, interface in, and you find yourself in a room. It's like a it's like a black metal kind of room. There's mm-hmm. posters all over the wall with that hard to read, scratchy ass metal. Uh, yeah. logo um and like you know like uh there's there's this um there's this bed in the center of the room and sitting on the bed is uh is a woman in like full on punk clothes with like a half shave part oversized sort of thing uh she's mm-hmm. got like thick black makeup on yeah. and um you know like a black tank top with a skull on it it's all torn up and shit fishnets mm-hmm. the short shorts and like boots yeah. that go up to her knee, and she yeah. like looks at you and goes, "Who the fuck are you supposed to be?" Oh, well, my avatar is Sonic the Hedgehog, but my name's Cash. <laughs> Damn, I that's love good that for you. That's all I, love that I can think of. Go fast. Heart. All I can think of is that dude sitting there playing while his mom's screaming at him from the other room. You're yeah. literally shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, she kind of looks at your Sonic the Hedgehog avatar and just like very nonplus looking. Um, hi. I mean, 
So you she did say, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Right. That's true. Like I just, yeah, but I did tell her my name. I was like, but I'm cash. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna be like, you're, you're currently at a night market and mm. the person who has your shit said that there was like a meet and greet and you kind of choose where you want to go. So I figured maybe we could vibe check each other and see if this works for you and if it works for me. And if it does, do you want to fucking kick it on my deck? He like looks at you and gives you that ball golf look of, are you fucking kidding me? And goes, vibe checked. You haven't offered me anything interesting. I haven't even started. I didn't know I was supposed to offer you shit. Man, you're a tough fucking sell. She's what like, do you want? she's like, listen, I've been around since before, or I've been around since before the dev was even born. I was a program built on some perverted fucking college student's computer, and I've survived since then. Literally everything I've had to do has been out of survival. I've passed from edge runner to edge runner. Letting you know, every single one of them except the ones who try and sell me die. So, oh. um, I don't know. What can you offer a bad luck charm? Um, tell me about your skill set and we can maybe talk a little more. She's like, I'm I an just, I, oh, go ahead. I just, I just have one question. What's that? Is this the girl, the lady robot from Weird Science? No, it's not, okay. but I do love that idea. <laughs> You're like, I've been around for That's before the most born. <laughs> yeah. No, and um, she's like, my skill sets. And she brings up a spreadsheet. Uh, and like looking through it, she's like, I'm an expert of infiltration, infiltrated Habsburg LTD several times, or inter uh, uh, or interface with Habsburg um, several times. I'm on a first name basis with their security team. Dodge death every single time. Pretty easy. Don't get derezzed. In fact, I don't think I've ever been derezzed. And if I have, it's been wiped from my memory. But it's going to take a tough son of a bitch to wipe anything out of my memory. I have a lot of information. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of things. Things that hide behind walls. Things that hide in between the wires. My specialty you get with me is experience. And from what she's saying, this is a a very, very well-versed demon. Like, one that has, like... Like, demons... They are technically immortal. But, mm -hmm. like, their records kind of stop being effective after a while. Either right. from firewalls being updated to understand that type of firmware. And most demons mm -hmm. don't have autonomy. So, mm -hmm. like, they don't... Like, a demon survives so long as their edge runner or their net runner can update them and keep giving them new strategies. Right. Uh, this one has a record of over 70 dead net runners. That's a fat body count, girl. Uh... None of them were targets for her. They're ones that died when she was inactive. Got it. Got it. Okay. I like you a lot. I like your skill set. I like your attitude. I like where you've been. And I like the opportunity of where we could possibly go. Here's the thing. I'm starting a big thing. Mm -hmm. Big fucking thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be bigger than the info dev. It's going to take some time to get there. I'm literally getting it off the ground as we speak. However, I've got a little bit of clout. I got a little bit of money. I got some pretty talented fuckers behind me. And I got enough space to get some shit done. So you want to come help me run something big? And I promise not to sell you. And I'll try not to die. She kind of scoffs for a second and then she goes, Tell you what. I'll go with you. But I got one condition. Go on. You find any files labeled under Zenith Diagnostics or any entries under Zenith Diagnostics, you send me. I'll come back. Will you come back with the data? Can we go over it together? She kind of pauses and goes, Medge runner after my heart. Let's just call it a morbid curiosity. And she actually reaches her hand out to shake your hand in virtual space. Everything? Fucking shake her hand! You shake her hand, <laughs> and he you initiated. instantly, and without, without 
your own disconnect. Like, you aren't the one who hits the disconnect button. You get disconnected. Not de disconnected. It's as if okay. your own hardware said, okay, the, the user who had input said that they were disconnecting. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> seen. Amy but when just you said Zenith dying. Diagnostics, you had me interested. <laughs> me too. How much money does he want for Considering what I recently <laughs> sent you, Cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get derezzed. I immediately throw a cred stick in this guy's fucking hand for 1500 I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna fucking haggle, and now I gotta do a little bit of math. Hold on. Yeah. Um, and as you come out, Trixie probably is, like, casually browsing, and, uh, you know, she's like, Hey, uh, the fuck brigade is coming as she Excellent. looks over and you see Crumb Kenny and Requiem walking and like Requiem is not looking at Crumb Kenny and Crumb Kenny is like talking to him. He's got all these mm. cables bundled under his arm, uh, oh, under cool. his arms. I didn't like, give you any money yet. But... Yeah. He's like, Hey boss. Uh, so, um, turns out, uh, your name calls good credit. Uh, I need, uh, I need 5k. Uh, but I got the scuzzies, and he like drops them on the fucking ground. You got big five, proud you face. Five k on those fucking. Did you even haggle? <laughs> yeah, and like Requiem is like the reasonably good deal, but uh, no, he didn't haggle. And uh, I tried to haggle, and he said sold. And then I tried to speak up, and he said sold. And then oh. whenever he looked at me and said, "What a good deal," I said, "Whatever you say." Crumb Kenny's okay. like, it's a good fucking deal. 5k for these things. These things regularly go for six. So, like, I cut a thousand eddies. You know what a thousand eddies is? That could buy my mom, like, so many scratchers. Wow. Okay. Well, we just learned a fun fact about you, Kenny. We are not taking you to the night market anymore. Oh, come on. Also, can I borrow a hundred eddies so I can buy this copy of Galaga? The dude's got a fucking floppy disk. Oh, dude, you didn't even haggle. You know what? Well, I haven't. Hold. Just, just, just hold on. And I'm going to look <laughs> at the guy and I need my demon now. I don't yeah. say that to him, but I mean, like, I need my demon. So he, I want to deal with this first. Yeah. He taps a couple things on the keyboard, kind of raises an eyebrow and goes, hmm, guess it is for you. Kind of pulls out the demon and hands it to you and goes, try not to die, Cash. You've got a oh lot to live for. My fingers crossed. I'm very excited. And I'm yeah. going to slip it into, I've got like a hidden pocket that's yeah. like, it's like new skin or something. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to slip it in there. And that's the only thing I'll put in there. Everything else mm -hmm. I'm like just going to carry. But this yeah. is far more important to me right now. So I tuck it yeah. in my little pocket <clears throat> and I look over at Kenny. I'm like, you want to, do I look like your mother? Do I look like your mother? Do I, I look like the person uh, who's uh, going to give you money to play mommy, a video sorry. game? Mommy? Like, sorry. Uh, you're my boss who's supposed to pay me, but we haven't done anything yet. But I came to the place and uh, can I get an advance on my salary or something? I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you can have an advance and I will give him a hundred eddies and I will also give him the five. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna like I'm gonna slap it into his hands. So that makes yeah. me zero seven. And but. as soon as you do that, he gets a big grin on his face and goes, "Thanks, mom. No shit. Oh. Sorry. Thanks, uh, mom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You're and gonna mommy, make me sorry. Regret mommy, this. sorry. Mommy, sorry. Yeah. Mother. And Re <laughs> Requiem looks at him and just like you know like has these big pearly white teeth that he smiles with and goes. You know, as like Kenny like awkwardly shuffles off, and he's like, "He's just a kid. I got know. him some slack, or uh, shit, uh, got him some slack. I think a little bit at least." I I'll try. Fucking, he called me mom like that. I, he he laughs at that, and he goes, "Yeah, he lives with his mom too, so maybe oh. it's a compliment." Oh no, man! No, oh, no! Did we just pick up a stray? It's Mama <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> Crumb Kenny is not <laughs> acting any Mama's differently boy. than the first time you met him. That's this true. Is true. This this is true. All right. So it's your so own fault. It is. So we've I'm got. I'm so glad you picked him up, though. 
I know I am too. So we've got our server unit. We've got our uh, adapters. Now we're just waiting on Switch to get her shit together. You get a message. Mm -hmm. And this message surprises the fuck out of you. Now, to let you know, that secure data bank that you're wanting her to get at 32 is like 50k. She sends you 64k triple encrypted easily accessible via or easily accessible via physical port 12,000. I transfer her the money immediately. Yeah, you transfer it and uh Roger says hooked you up. I ex- or probably says hooked you up. Save me some space on the bay. I uh, will respond. Is that a text message or yeah. is that? Okay. Um, I will respond. My homie, you're the shit. 100% got your back. Yeah. And he also responds with one more thing afterwards. Uh, tough bitch. Be careful. Also, good asset. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to fucking send him the fucking like this yeah, one. The shock of bra. <laughs> yeah, the shaka bra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like got it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. And uh, you know, within a minute of you sending her that, she is at like in front of you, she pulls her like, you know those side bags that like you can kind mm-hmm. of pull this way. She like does yeah. that, open it up and you see physically it's beat up, but mm-hmm. it is what you're looking for. It's 64 gotcha. petabytes. It is yeah. fucking mint when it comes to like like getting this thing for 12k. You don't know what kind of fuckery between her and Jay Roger like actually went on. But from yeah. what he says, it sounds like they both got a little bit of a deal off, you know. Right, right. For sure, for sure. So I'll like look at it approvingly. And be like, all right. Um yeah. let's go fucking drink. She she looks at you and goes, I'm good. Ooh. Okay, let me rephrase. Part of the job is we drink. We are going to go drink what? now. <laughs> oh, so we're in Japan now. Salary man bullshit? Ew. <laughs> and I say that. I don't mean to, but it just comes out. Ew. Just fucking I like this goddamn. One. I know. Yeah, no, it's straight, straight up. <laughs> she called that shit. She did. She fucking did. Uh, <clears throat> listen, it's just a thing we do. And I need you to do it. Or at least be present for, I don't know, an hour of your time. See, you can do this to Lucky. I don't know if you can do this to Switch. Yeah. Switch probably uh probably looks at you hard look for a second one of those unreadable looks that she gives people says Mm -hmm. you got me for an hour and i don't drink i'm gonna look over at trixie who's probably what is she doing does she hear this that trixie is like looking at her like an alien and then when she says i don't drink she goes uh, she probably goes, any particular reason, goes and looks directly at Trixie and goes, you really want me to tell you about every single one of my AA meetings? Because I'm not fucking around <laughs> with it. She goes, okay. Okay, that's fine. You know what I mean? I feel awful. <laughs> I feel awful. <laughs> okay, well, now I feel awful. And, uh... We'll proceed to apologize. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was the situation, and I'm sorry to press. Uh, is it going to be a problem for you to be around while everybody is drinking? Probably goes, nah, not a problem. Okay. Okay. Kind of says, <laughs> and she probably looks at you and goes, just to let you know, this is a time investment. At some point, We're going to kick it back. Yeah, I've got plans. Yeah, she kind of she kind of nods. You get a very no nonsense vibe from from switch. She yeah, she does not fuck around. Like she's she's intense. Um, One might even call her like like horny campers. 
fucking intense. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. yeah. I think as you guys pack everything up and Crumb Kenny kind of like, he's got the floppy disk and he's like, I finally got what I finally, like he trips and falls in the mud and he's like, holds up the disk above his head. He's like, it didn't get work. Like sort of thing as he's like holding it up. I think we're probably going to like cut there as Switch probably just puts her hand in her head like Jesus Christ. Can we um, at some point make it back to Tartarus and... Uh I actually want to like drink and put it all together. Like I want them to also be involved in putting it together. And we'll, we'll, we will definitely get to that. Okay. Um, But we are going to cut now over to Cachette. Uh, Cachette, you and Bepino Stephanopoulos are heading towards, uh, you know, this diner that he kind of told you about. Um, we're probably having a conversation in the car. Conver- conversation has probably turned a lot lighter. It, you know, after you had that serious conversation um, about uh, about like um, Anastovia, you know, um, you know, uh, it, it turned lighter. You know what I mean? Right, right. And so um, I was putting in my army assault armor. Of course. Um, but yeah. As you're kind of pulling forward, uh, you know, he's, I I think, was it you or him who was driving? Me, because he was like, I'm old. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you, he kind of is like, left up there, and, you know, you pull up to this area. And uh, I don't remember what I called the diner last week. Scott, do you remember? I might have it written down. Mm -mm. Let's see. But whatever the case, you you pull up to this um you pull up to this diner, and um you know as you're pulling up it says the place is shit, doesn't have a kosher kitchen, but I mean they don't sell or they don't sell anything trafe. Well, they sell bacon. Uh, we're all allowed to cheat every once in a while. It's not real pork anyway. And uh, what's what's mm-hmm. Cachette's? reaction to that uh, probably nods at that kind of like yeah yeah um is it you know, called the drippy egg that's it it's called the, the drippy, drippy egg diner Ew. yeah yeah so you pull up to the drippy egg diner and um as as you're kind of pulling up um y- you get out you see that it's mostly empty and uh, you know you walk into the diner and uh, Cachette, make me an awareness notice. And uh, Trinix as well. Okay. Hold on, I'm not even in for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, God. Yay. Uh, or not. I don't know. I don't know what a good roll in this system is. There we go. Yeah, it's not a bad roll. I mean, again, 24 is like a legendary result. Um, Golden legendary. Yeah, right. God damn it. Uh, so, yeah, as, as you kind of um, walk in, I think that both you two both see each other at the same time. Uh, Cachette, you see uh, Trinix with his new big-ass bodyguard. Um, Trinix, you see Cachette with some old man. You two acknowledge each other? Or? We're kind of halfway with a spoonful of food. Uh, look up and see him and kind of do that little bro head bob thing like, hey, and then continue eating. Yeah, like, yeah, the little up nod. He'll he'll do it back. Yeah, no words are spoken, just like a, you know, okay. And yeah, you guys sit down for a moment. And, you know, Bepino Stepanopoulos, uh, you know, the waitress is like, oh, honey, all right. Let's, uh, let's make sure that you get uh, put up in a nice little spot, maybe right over here. You like window seats? And he's like, ah, 
Well, if it wasn't for the rain, I would say that a window seat's my favorite spot. She goes, ah, well, honey, all you ever get in this city is rain. Yeah, so I can tell. You guys get sat next to a window and, uh, you know, he's like, um, probably looks at you and goes, you know, uh, I'd uh, recommend the breakfast sandwich they got. Pretty good here. They make it with a donut, believe it or not. You can ask him to do a bagel, but I like the donut. And my doctor says I shouldn't like the donut, but I like the donut. You know what I mean? (laughs) Jelly donuts are my favorite. Jelly donuts? Uh, My favorite! Uh, But yeah. Nah, he'll he'll order... He'll order as close to kosher as you can get in a non-kosher kitchen. Yeah, I mean like toast and oatmeal or something like that, you know? Yeah, Um, maybe egg and hash browns or something. Absolutely. And probably... Yeah, right. And uh, he'll probably say, "Uh, if it's not too much trouble, ma'am, me and my friend here, uh, we happen to be uh, observant of the faith. If uh, there's any way you could do a quick clean of the griddle where you cook ours, not even the whole griddle if you don't. She's like, oh, of course, honey. We get we get uh, we get folks from the Jewish quarter here yes, uh, more often than you'd think for a restaurant that don't actually offer well kosher options, but it kind of gives you guys a little bit of a like a little bit of a rib sort of thing of a like eh, eh, you know she's like uh, you know I'll get uh, I'll get that uh, stuff out to you. Uh, you you boys want some coffee or something on the while you wait uh, water juice a beer. Just, just the water's fine. Or oh. I don't know why. I, don't know why I got Irish there. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably go. Uh, Beppino Stephanopoulos goes. Uh, oh, I'll take decaf. Not allowed to have caffeine anymore. He goes. Uh, all right, honey. Well, we'll get that right up. And uh, she walks off. And as she walks off, um, first of all, Trinix, you notice that as soon as Beppino Stephanopoulos walked in. Uh, good old Rainier started to kind of lower himself a little bit. He's not showing actual physical discomfort, but you can tell he's like getting ready for something. I'll whisper to him like, hey, let's focus on the food then we'll deal with it later. Kind of looks and goes, yeah. And uh, he, he redoubles his food eating efforts to be quicker. You know what I mean? And uh, says, um, everyone fucking know everyone in this goddamn town? Like, as he's like eating, you know, and uh, he's he's like staring at the table that has Cachette and Beppino Stephanopoulos, right? Okay, whenever another waitress comes by, I'm going to flag her down real quick and be like, hey, um, there's no way I'm going to finish all this wonderful food by the time he's done. So when you get a chance, get me some to-go things because I'll probably be eating this for the next year and a half. And she kind (laughs) of smiles. And there's only one waitress in this place. It's a low-volume place. In fact, you guys are like, pretty much the only people in here. Um, there's like maybe a couple people at the main, you know, like how American diners have a bar in front of the kitchen, you know? Uh, there's a couple people there probably, but other than that, like it is pretty empty. It's like three in the afternoon in like a kind of far off part of the neighborhood. Um, she's like, yeah, absolutely, honey. Let me get those. Uh, let me get those for you. Um, you know, and it's like, uh, I know Adam here, uh, he can he can put it away, you know, and he's just like, you know, um, and um, she kind of walks off. Cutting back to your table. Um, you see uh, Beppino Stephanopoulos before he gets the coffee, he goes, well, I need to hit the little boy's room. I'm not a little boy anymore, but I still need to hit the room and kind of like starts to prop himself off and uh, as he gets up he starts walking towards the bathroom door which is kind of near Trinix's table and you see he stops staring at the table and he drops his cane meanwhile 
Uh, As he does that, I'm going to get up real quick and pick it up and be like, oh, here, sorry, you dropped that. Rainier is staring dead at Bepino Stepanopoulos, and Bepino Stepanopoulos does not even acknowledge your presence. Not like as a fuck you, but like he is in shock. You see his face is just like, uh... Probably um, it's seeing that, yeah, Cachette would like real... I mean, in his mind... Beppy's having either a senior citizen moment mm-hmm. or a fucking heart attack or something. Yeah. And gets up and kind of rushes over. It's like, oh, Beppy, Beppy, are you, are you okay? And he's just staring straight ahead. And he just says, he, he just says, uh, um, uh, he, he just kind of like, uh, Samson? And like, Rainier? at hearing that just immediately is like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking to, but old man, you better look away right now or else I'm going to turn your face into a fucking cube. And goes, Samson, where the hell have you been? Boy, chick, we've been worried sick. And he goes, I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. I'm not fucking Samson or whatever the fuck you're saying. Trinix, come on, let's get the fuck out of here. And, you know, he walks without paying the bill or anything. He walks right past you two. Trinix, he doesn't even, like, wait for you to follow. He just books. Go check your friend. He seems to be... Just don't let no one cut his hair. Yeah, um... I don't know how we're gonna pay. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you, you you build a hospital thing. The Bill clinic. Bill Artis. <laughs> oh, build a clinic. Bill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Um, and you walk out, and uh, as you walk out to follow Rainier, Rainier just kind of like he's getting in the car. He like gets in the car. He rolls the window down and goes, "Come on." Passenger seat. Yesterday. Yeah, I'm moving quickly. Yeah, and you get in the passenger Mm. seat, and he peels the fuck out, and like books. He's like, go in the apartment, dropping you off. Don't tell nobody that I'm not fucking here. And he like reaches and grabs onto his neck and pinches and like rips, and you see that there's a chip that he just like ripped out with a hunk of flesh out of his neck and like just drops it in your lap and says, put it outside the fucking door. Okay. Your neck can be okay. That'll be fucking, it'll be fine. And like, he's I... not looking at you. He's staring straight ahead. He's running every light. He's performing some pretty technical driving. Uh, that would be very scary if you hadn't ridden with scene before. Yeah, I'm like, I, I mean, I could put a bandage on that for you real quick, but I understand. Okay. And Yeah, and he's just like, he grips the steering wheel so hard that when he lifts his hand off to make a turn, you see what appears to be a semi-permanent impression in the leather. And he like whips around a corner. Meanwhile, uh, Cachette, Bepino Stepanopoulos turned and stared at the car as it left and then watched it drive away and just kind of has been standing there staring at where it drove away to. Yeah, like, he kind of gets in, not like in his face, but kind of puts himself between him and the scene. Yeah. Very loud, sharp, metallic. Clap, clap. Yeah, and he kind of shakes his head for a second and looks at you and he says, I uh, need to sit down. And, like, he, like, half collapses. Oh, yeah, like, as he starts, like, he'll catch him and help put him in a table. Yeah, and you actually you know, uh, the closest booth to you is the one in which, you know, uh, they were eating. 
and he kind of sits down and he just kind of like he looks so preoccupied trying to figure out what the fuck is going on and that's pretty much what Kachet asks is he's like who who was that says uh that that was uh, uh, Samson Fetterman. Fetterman. We, and he kind of like nods and he's pale as a ghost. He looks like he's just seen a ghost. He says, Samson was presumed dead. We had a, a wake and. Oh, this was decades ago. With well, his father, his mother moved on. Do how much have I heard about Rainier? Uh, like in the club? Yeah, or like just in general when everyone kind of was like, "Don't like this guy." You've probably heard he's a spook from Artis, and he's bad news. That's probably the extent you've heard. He's Unless love. anyone wants to correct me on that one. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know about that, but I know that he's working for Artis now. He's one of their enforcers. Scary stuff. Uh, oh, the other thing you would know, he is head of Artis security. Yeah, then he would, wouldn't just say an enforcer. He's like, he's head of Artis security. And yeah, no. Bepino Stepanopoulos is just like at a loss for words. Uh, and he just kind of, you know, uh, sets his, uh, you know, he um, probably looks and goes, can you um, get my uh, my cane? Yeah, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. Go over, kneel down, pick it up and hand it to him. Yeah, and he takes it and he sets it across his lap. And he goes... We have to tell Heim. Are you sure that's a smart thing to do? Heim mm. has already moved on. How? What will happen if he finds out that the head of security for a group like Artis? And he, sl- as you're saying that, he like slams his fist down and goes, Heim is my friend. Haim is my rabbi. Haim is a pillar of this community. And if his son still draws breath, Haim needs to know. And at this point, everyone in the diner is looking at you guys. They're like, what the fuck is going on? A scene is happening. He'll actually kind of look at them and uh, just say, he says, oh, Demach, you know, Demach be business. Oh, your... and they immediately, oh. <laughs> just as soon as you say that, everyone buries themselves in whatever the fuck they were doing before this happened. He's like, yeah. Like, oh, shit, no, I'm not getting caught up in it. Oh, geez. Like, <laughs> no one guy probably gets up and leaves. And he's like, ah, in like, in Hebrew, it's like, no listening, vultures. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and he'll actually start speaking to him in Hebrew, assuming that he understands oh, it. of course. And be like, it's not that I don't believe that he should know. It's that I'm worried of what he will do when he learns. And he kind of probably mutters some sort of prayer under his breath and goes, Ah, I have a duty. My duty goes in the in this order. I have a duty to God, I have a duty to my community, and I have a duty to myself. All three of these duties seem to be telling me that this is the path I must follow. Whether this will end good or not, it is the right thing to do. I think Artis or someone related to them are the ones behind who attacked me and my friends. And whatever it is, Trinix, the person who put us all back together, is already wrapped up in them for some reason. I, I don't know. It's something where need to know basis. And the new guy does not need to know. But I all know. I know is that Artis's fingers are deep in this city. And I don't want to see Demokshbi and the community 
being hurt. He kind of nods and, you know, the waitress probably comes by and says like, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm assuming you want to 86 that food. And he, he definitely nods. Yeah. Give her like a very apologetic smile. It's like, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And she says, um, uh, if y'all need a uh, quieter place to talk, um, uh, the kitchen uh, will not have ears. Um, we do good business with your folk. Um, we're or, uh, we do good. We do good business with your folk. Uh, we're not. Uh, uh, so long as nothing happens out of this place. Um, but I figure it's my place to kind of give you a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a bit of space. Also, yeah. so we might be able to. Uh, serve our customers apologies yeah. if that comes off insensitive no he like shakes his head and like tries to help Beppy up yeah and he slips her a hundred eddies yeah absolutely and she kind of says thank you so much that was not necessary and she'll it whether do you guys go to the kitchen or do you guys go to the van Wait to the van and he's just like nothing happened here you didn't hear any names oh yeah she she says absolutely um Actually, uh, something I might uh, tell you. Um, I don't know if it's my place to say this, and uh, you didn't you didn't hear anything either. But uh, Adam there is uh, he's a regular customer of ours. He's uh, he always comes in and orders the same special. Uh, man eats a lot. I assume there's something that they did to his system, but uh, he's he's not a bad guy. He don't um, he don't hurt nobody around here, and he's always relatively pleasant. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry to and, disturb your business. Yeah, and she's like, it's not a problem at all. Uh, please come by again if you can, or you know, if you don't want to, I understand as well. She kind of, she kind of gives you a wave as uh, she kind of goes back to her yeah. job. And get get Beppy back into the van, then yeah. run around, start it up, and just start driving just to drive. Yeah, and, probably heading uh, towards the Jewish quarter. Yeah, and as you guys are doing that, we're going to cut back to Trinix and Rainier. Uh, Trinix, Rainier has done a full slid stop in front of your uh, apartment. Uh, there is blood leaking from his neck onto his shirt, and it is also the wound is coagulating itself. Uh, like, it is closing itself as you speak. It's making a big scab. He says, I've got, as a medical professional, please let me take care of that real quick, and I'll go and do as you command. He says, listen, we ain't got time for it, kid. I got some shit I gotta do, all right? This is gonna be fine. And he points at his neck, and I mean, yeah, it's, it is healing at an advanced rate. Like, you have not seen things like this before you don't know what the fuck is going on here uh and he says take the chip set it outside your door i'll be back in 24 or, or i'll be back for work tomorrow pick you up you'll sew it back into me you can do that uh, yes sir he goes all right what happened back there i want you to talk to anybody about it especially not the bosses Understood? Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Kind of nods and for the first time, non roughly touching you, he pats you on the shoulder in this weird kind of forlorn slash like I, you can't even tell what emotion it is, but it seems like it's really complex. And he just kind of says, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Don't get killed. Okay, let I get out and go in the building. Yeah, and you see him peel the fuck out in front of your building, just driving down the street towards the west end of town. Back to uh, Cachette and Bepino Stephanopoulos. You guys are getting closer to the Jewish quarter. And he says, the thing about Samson was that he was Haim's only son. He was his pride and joy. And he was a good boy. Uh, he went missing when he was 
19. He went on a... Well, he went to do some dealings. I don't even remember with who. I, some sort of roach gang or something. Oh, well, apparently operatives were brought into the mix, as far as we could tell. And then he was gone. There was nothing we could do about it. We chased down every lead we had. We were stonewalled. And we nearly tore the community apart just looking for him. If Haim had one regret, I mean, he renounced his faith for five years because of that. He said that no god would take away a son like that. And it wasn't until the community came together and brought him together to, well, put him back together. There's history with this, boy. There's... There's motions, movements, it feels like the eddies of the divine himself. I mean, for something like this to happen, especially at such a pivotal moment in the city, there's got to be something. There is no coincidence. I'm not saying that there is. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't tell him. All I'm saying is to please just... Make sure that he doesn't let his fatherly nature get the better of him. He's still someone who needs to look after this community and not expose it to someone like Artis. They have plasma throwers. They have things that shouldn't exist. Kind of nods. Mm. Right, right, right. Uh, and he kind of, you know, he kind of um, pulls a, a, a kerchief out of his uh, pocket. You can tell he's been sweating at this point, you know, and he kind of mm-hmm. uh, wipes his face off a little bit. And uh, he, uh, uh, as you're kind of pulling up to Heim's building, he says, uh, he, he probably, because, you know, it's your van, right? Yeah. Your guys' work van. He kind of goes, thank you for the for the ride, um, we'll talk uh, soon, uh, soon enough. Um, I'll, I'll call you, kind of. Um, yeah, he reaches out and tries to keep it lighter. It's still a little harder than it should be. Yeah. Pats his shoulder with the arm. Mm-hmm. It's like, take the time you need, and remember what I said. Just guard against anything rash kind of nods and says do my best if you're dealing with Samson in any way well I'd be careful seems not of the right temperament these years must have changed him it's been over 20 years since he's been seen so I'm worried that I don't even know the boy anymore just Watch yourself if he's caught up with Artis. And he kind of just leaves it in the air like that. I will. And I think uh, I'll be seeing a lot of him. Yeah, and kind of nods and pats you on the shoulder and gets uh, out of the van. And he just walks in. And Cachette pulls out, starts going, and then there's just that moment where he's just driving, you know, normal. Mm-hmm. And then just leans back into the chair at a red light. Mm-hmm. Probably turns green. Someone honks at him. Very jerkily sticks his mechanical arm out and flips yeah. them off. Classic. Feels out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm assuming send you send a message back to, the to you. Mm-hmm. I want to send a message to Cachette. Okay, what's the message? How's the old dude doing? Yeah. You get that message. Ooh, he sends him back a. <laughs> it's a series of quick texts because he's driving and he should <laughs> not be doing this. Yeah. But and he doesn't have like an internal agent. He has like a go ahead and give much me a phone. give me a, a driving test. Oh, he does. I don't think I have anything for that. Where is um, where is drive? Uh, in this, I, I believe it's drive. Where is it in this cockamamie driving? Yeah. 
pilot. It's a reflex skill. Sorry, there's so many fucking things. You can search with the search bar. Yeah, I found it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you don't hit anyone. You roll pretty well. Um, <laughs> you don't you don't fucking murder anybody. Well, see, if you had rolled below a 15, you would have hit a car. If you had rolled below a 10, you would have hit a pedestrian. It's New Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. Um but it's first it just says hoy. And yeah. then he's fine. We need to talk urgently. Uh, I do. Okay. I'm glad he's okay. And yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. Technically, I don't have my bodyguard for the rest of the night, so. <laughs> what? He's like, good. Meet me in my room. The med. He's never been in my room. Med bay might be fucked. Okay. Yeah. And oh, hold on. Oh. What I do is when I get home, I'm mm -hmm. going to take that little bug thing he gave me. Yeah. Put it where he said, right outside the door. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of off the ways where some random person walking by doesn't see it type thing. See, you know? like a chunk of flesh. <laughs> yeah. You Ooh, know, tasty. Kind of hide it a little bit. And then, mm -hmm. you know, I'll wait a good. 20 or so minutes to make sure he's not there, but I'm pretty sure with the haste he went away, he's not going to be there, but still. And then I get a cab to go back to the club. Hell yeah. Uh, and we are going to go from there to uh, we're going to go to Payne Dexter and Connor. So you guys have just gotten back to the club, I'm assuming. Probably. Yeah. yeah it sounds probably yeah. Good. yeah. You guys get back to the club and uh, you've got all this information from this outing that you just had. What are you guys doing? Looking for cash. Yeah. You just said BRB still listening. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're sorry, probably. Yeah, to the to it's it's okay. Can't, is, oh, didn't cash go out? <laughs> yeah. Well, give me like three minutes and then you can call no, me. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Cash, go ahead and say back whenever you're back. Um, so, uh, you guys get in and actually the first people that you see, you don't see cash, but you see three net runner types in the bar. Uh, they're the type, they're the folks that, uh, actually, I think both Connor and Payne Dexter got a read on when cash was doing her little, uh, job expose, um, okay. her job fair, if it will. Um, and, uh, you know, you probably see, um, the first person uh, you know, they're lugging shit in, uh, you know, uh, where cash is usually set up, uh, in the basement. Probably one of them looks at you and goes, oh shit. Yeah. You two are the muscle. What is up? Hey, how's it going? My name's Kenny. And like, he goes in for like a dap. I'll okay. just look at him. <laughs> Connor's just like, what? Yeah. And he's just like. Cool, 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 yeah, cool, silent types, cool. uh, yeah, cool, 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 uh, right, um, hey, I got some, uh, shit, I gotta, um, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta uh, plug in, or something, uh, I'll, I'll elbow Connor and nod towards the bar, <laughs> and head that way, yeah, oh, yeah, and at this point, as you're heading up to the bar, Cash, you actually see your two favorite battle buddies, um, walking up the stairs towards the bar, <laughs> yeah, but oh, hey, you made it back. How was the whole Nicolas Cage situation? You got that that paperwork we sent you, right? I did. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that, it looks like that's got to be some really interesting shit. Unfortunately, we didn't get an actual item, and yeah, well, most of what we did had nothing to do with. Uh, the Nicolas Cage people are just more to do with Hannibal Lecter? Oh. It's something like that. Um, refresh my memory. What was the paperwork about? It, it was, was Hannibal Lecter a... that looked like Mads Mikkelsen. That's right. I, I'd like to apologize for the audience. I did actually mean to say um, 
Fuck. Not Michael Caine. Anthony Kane. Hopkins. It's Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. It's too late. Um, but no. Uh, it was a piece. Uh, it was a rough design doc for a chip, a personality chip um, designed by Zenith Diagnostics. Red light, red light, red light. Um, that was trying to achieve, uh, in quotes, total synchronicity. Right. Right. <clears throat> you know, I may have just picked something up that might be able to help me out with this. Uh, hold on. And I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like pull that data stick out of my secret pocket and I'm yeah. gonna like do that cool thing you do when you're trying to like flip a coin through your fingers. Yeah. And I'm gonna fucking plug that bitch in. Okay. So. <clears throat> You've got plenty of computers in the building that you could plug her into. Oh, okay. um, yeah. So you you plug her in. I'm assuming just like in the server room or the runner's closet. Yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll just plug her right in to yeah, the, you plug to the her runner's in. closet for now. And uh, you know, now do you have do you hook up as well? Do you have a projection for her? What's what's the situation? Um... Could she have like a small holographic projection on mm -hmm. the desk where she's only like yay yeah, big? Absolutely. But, like, I think that that's a cool aesthetic. Okay. Cortana. So, yeah. Like, basically, yes. And um, I'm going to be like, hey, you said you wanted some Zenith diagnostic shit. Uh, I think I got something. You want to have a peek at it? Uh, yeah, and you guys see the the mall golf I described earlier. <laughs> um, I'll and... still continue to believe she looks like Kelly LeBrock. Yeah, yeah. Kids these days. <laughs> yeah, right? And she's like, she probably looks at you and goes, kids these days? Listen, I may be younger than you, but only about by a decade. And on top of that, I'm way more experienced. You said you oh. got Zenith? Yeah, I do. And I'm going to look over at Connor and be like, please do not insult my new friend. This is an unsteady relationship because we haven't really gotten to know each other yet. Okay? <laughs> Just Hey, you do whatever you want in your own time and privacy. As long as she can help with this, that's all I care. All right. Yeah. All right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload the document to her well to the computer where she has yeah. access to like look absolutely at shit and she kind of blinks for a second and goes huh yep typical zenith weird science bullshit kind of like yeah. uh kind of goes yeah uh looks like they're designing some sort of chip uh looks like a well patent if it's patented off of their xt573 chips which were typically actually shipped out to panopticon uh, typically used for behavioral modifications for Panopticon members. However, at the same time, this seems a little bit more in depth. Looks like they've got a cobalt processor, which is going to cool things down significantly. And on top of that, looks like they've got top of the line silicon work, meaning they don't want shit to bleed from one thing to another. That, my friend, I'll let you guess what it means. In fact, I'll give you two guesses. And if you get it wrong, I'll tell you. It's a fun game. Let's see how good you are. Why do they want clean silicon? Kind of look over at them, then just be like, "Why, why, why do you think that?" <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I look like I do your job, and you do you're, mine. You're you're, you're the nerd, Cash. Come on. Fuck. Why would they want? Hold on. Silicon? The guy that quotes movies every week is ah. calling you the nerd. It's true. It happened. Why would Good. you want clean silicon? Do, an edu nerd. do an education and general knowledge role. You could do a you could do a cyber tech design um, role. That would be pretty helpful. Okay. Or a cyber let's tech do that. role. Let's let's do which one am I more uh let's do you said cyber deck design or cyber tech? Yeah. Okay, I have a little more in cyber deck design, so you know exactly why they would want clean silicon because oh, with yeah? the building of more and more complex computers, you want that silicon press to be as clean as possible, so there is no arcing between pieces. There are no convection points. What that okay. leads you to believe is that they want to make sure that there is not a single electron out of place, delicate hardware. Oh, well, then I will fucking say that shit to her and yeah. out loud like a big yeah. nerd. 
she goes, uh, she goes, hey, right on the money. You may not be as useless as I thought. So, oh my God. <laughs> here's the pro. She's like, so here's the problem. One, all that info or all of that shit, that's going to have to be shipped directly from Hephaestus, it's set, or not Hephaestus, from, uh, uh, not Yakton. Hold on. I'm glad I have the notes here now because I can look just for issues. Um, from, uh, Hermes. Nope. Uh, not Hermes. Was it Hephaestus? Shakar. There we go. Um, she's going to be like, now, here's the problem. One, that's going to have to be special order from Shakar, meaning there's going to be a paper trail on that shit. Two, we have a date when this was made. It was made about two years ago. Three, where the fuck did you guys find this document? Did you break into fucking Zenith itself? Oh, that's a great question. Did you break into Zenith? Nah, nah. Just some old broken down building that just happened to have a bunch of so some dead and some uh, experimented on people. Hmm. Makes sense. Well, here's your quandary. Here's your conundrum. Here's the big fucking rub in the situation. This was obviously prototype. Super prototype. This shit isn't formatted at all like a normal Zenith. I think some uh, I think some gonk scientist decided to throw it together in his spare time. Seems like the kind of shit that they like to do. So, um, you got two leads that you might be able to follow. One, you might be able to follow what made the chip. Two, you might be able to follow who made the chip. Figure out who made it or what made it. You got a paper trail. Once you got a paper trail, you figure out what this baby does. You figure out what that baby does. You upload that schematic into my system. I get to learn a little bit. Best 1500 bucks I ever fucking spent. I swear <laughs> to God. I say that shit out loud. Yeah. <laughs> what if there's no paper trail? Just a guy who's been maybe kidnapped. Wait. Like the chip is like in him or something? I don't know if it's in him or if he invented it, but there Wait was a minute. some sort or of scientist that got grabbed. Are you telling me that this chip is still active somewhere? Something? Somehow. What the Probably. Fuck? We got the box that came in. We just don't got the You've toy. got the box? Scan it. Scan it. Quick. Scan it. Give me a 3D oh. scan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I fucking scan that shit. Yeah. She goes, okay. I'm picking up particulate traces of several pieces of organic matter. A little bit of blood. A little bit of feces. You know, stuff that normally sticks on your fingers even though you wash your hands. So, kind of like, uh, <laughs> Yeah. I just wash my hands. <laughs> and she's like, uh, she's like, uh, trust me, meat bags, boil them first. Anyway, I'm getting a few issues here. Or I'm getting a few reads here. Looks like this was handled fairly recently. And this thing had to have been taken out fairly recently. There's some very, very, very fresh DNA. What the fuck? Why does this DNA match John Travolta's? Oh my god. Did you guys <laughs> fight a that. bunch of John Travolta? We were supposed to fight a bunch of John Travoltas, but it didn't work out. They weren't there. Some of them got killed. Some of them made off with Dr. Whoever it is. You fucking did some weird shit And while that was I before was we got there. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you do for money. Great. Let me guess. True. Poser gangs? Yep. Yep. Yeah, sounds about right. This whole city's fucking lousy with them. Almost as many as Roach Gangers. Fuck, I might as well call them Roach Gangers, but they're not even worth the title, fucking posers. Love you. Yeah, I'm starting sure to like this. Yeah. Um, She's like, name is, awesome. Jezebel, I don't give a shit right? about your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could strap your chip to a thermite and take care of you quite easily. No. Yeah, I'm but then you wouldn't gonna... get to look at. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just gonna like no, no. <laughs> she got whatever you paid, I'll double it just to compensate. Mm -mm. No, honestly, she's priceless. You can't have her. You can't break her. I fucking like her. Deal with it. 
and uh, Jezebel looks smug as fuck. Like <laughs> she's like she's like right. So um, I don't think there's any more information. She I really is living up to her namesake. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, Oh fucking! I'll also introduce her. Like this is Jezebel. She's the coolest bitch I've ever met, aside from my future wife. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is this is Connor. This is Payne. And probably <laughs> by the way, she's like not particularly. But you didn't okay. introduce me to Jasifer. Interesting note you got on him. Why the fuck does he say your name wrong? Oh, right. That's a great question. Please do not tell him what my name actually is. Uh, he got snatched uh, out of someone else's brain a while back. And I think the only way I can really keep him like together is if I just go by whatever he calls me. Broken demon. Classic. Yeah. Or just cut him loose. Not worth it. Uh, he's pretty cool, man. I mm -hmm. like him. Kind of kind of shrugs and goes, if you're here for a charity case, then who am I to stop you? I, I, I do have a soft spot for for broken tech um <clears throat> anyway <laughs> and yeah You're the most intriguing thing i have ever seen in my life <laughs> <laughs> she's like, like this is full ai like this is not yeah she's like at least you're not jerking off over me like all those other fucking nerds oh i don't have time for that i got a lady back home she kind of rolls her eyes and I don't, uh, don't have any answers for that. Like, just yeah. I'm sorry yeah. about you. Like, that's unfortunate. But you know, now you're here in a dignified yeah. situation. No, absolutely. Um, and she goes. By the way, your security system. You bulked it up pretty good. A uh, couple permeated weak spots. I've already patched them up. Uh, side note. Uh, you've got something that you need cracked. Some sort of black box. Thing looks spicy and delicious. Mind if I Do work on that? Yes, you can. I love secrets. Mm, tell me everything you find. Remember our yeah. deal, Amy. I'm not talking I, to that's cash, right. I'm talking to Amy. I know. I vaguely remember the deal. Send me a message to remind me the deal. But I, I just say it think I remember. Because no. I, I want to inspire uh, competition. No! You, you get me into that black box. We'll see what we can do about majority shareholder. Oh, that's right. That's right. And there was like a whole like getting invested in the pirate bay and shit. Um, oh, yeah. I do that for you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. We're yeah, making she, deals on deals, you guys. <laughs> and she she probably goes, all right, trying to penetrate defense. You're going to be mine in three, two. All right. Well, that is not nearly as easy as I thought it would be. Whoever had this, whose was this? Um, it's a great question. I'm not actually sure. Mira, what just did you do? Say what? I said, Mira, what did you do? How'd you do some clicky clicks? Yeah, and she's like, she's like, um, I don't know who put this together, but the shit's almost tighter than most Zenith shit. I mean, mm -hmm. cracked in RTs maybe twice or three times, something like that. That's nah, actually a lie. It was actually seven times, and uh, well, we don't talk about the six. Anyway. Uh, this thing is airtight. Uh, this will take a little bit of work on it, won't it? Probably. Do you want to take some time with it? Uh, yes, but also, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> your protections are really good, but the second someone like me gets in here, you're fucked. I'm going to work on some of that first. <laughs> yes, okay. but bored now. Switching. To I'm else. fine with this. And I'm going to yeah. like leave her in for as long as she wants to be in. Like, yeah, and she's like... Runner's closets like, are nice, but I'm a little bit yeah. more autonomous. Once you get that server up and running, plop me in there. I'll do whatever. Okay. I'll get it fixed up. Okay. And honestly, that was kind of part of the goal. I, I yeah. don't think I was ever going to carry her. I was yeah. going to put her in the server. Yeah. So no. uh, that's and it's she, exciting that she wants to be a part of that. Yeah. No, she's very much uh, the, the immediate thing you can get from her. And like, mm -hmm. she's a program. So you can read her diagnostics. Uh, yeah. First of all. Uh, these are diagnostics like you've never read off a demon before. Like, they're pretty complex. Like, it seems that this thing's been, like, upgrading herself to mm -hmm. match, like, security protection protocols. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, uh, 
she has a lot of parameters you just don't know how to read. Like, it's shit that's like, that's not in a demon, typically. Yeah. And that's yeah. going somewhere, but I don't know what it... Like, imagine if a demon is a switchboard, right? Mm -hmm. You can read it, but it takes some time. You gotta kind of know what you're doing, but yeah. it's legible. Uh, right. This is the biggest international switchboard. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of parameters. Maybe even hundreds of thousands. Um, so what you're saying is I should fire all of my brand new employees and just have her. <laughs> she can't interact in meat space. That's true. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, hey, by the way, while you're working on that, can you also take a quick peek at a person that I've just hired that I am desperately curious about? Mm -hmm. Username switch. Don't have a lot of information. Goes by she, her. Kind of like pauses and goes, nope, data wipe. Fuck. All right. How? Yeah. How the fuck does someone do a data wipe like that? Well, typically it's one of three things. Either they're a corpo, they're military, or secret agent for a government. But right. you can do it as an individual. It's just hard as fuck. Costs a lot of money. Got to know a lot of people. Scrubbing your persona from an entire internet or scrubbing your entire internet persona the entire footprint of every single action you've ever done. I mean, literally the only thing I have on her is back when the internet was the internet. She had an eBay purchase. I can't what even tell what the eBay purchase was. Shit. It um, was for 75 US dollars. That's it. It's like nothing. That's like a pair of shoes. <laughs> Shit. All right. In that Fuck. economy. I mean, <laughs> reverse you know. inflate that. <laughs> yeah. You're you talking know. in 2001 economy. But, yeah okay all right so it's like maybe three pairs of shoes there yeah. you go all right but uh right. yeah she's like uh she's like yeah no this one's good um oh for your other two flunkies well one of yeah. them isn't a flunky requiem is uh well stupid fucking name good right. fucking work honestly right. taking down an entire corpo by himself well not taking it down but putting a gap in the fence that's a that's admirable honestly might have wanted to get sold to him but you seem good enough for now. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. As for uh, as for uh, Kenny, there. Uh, he seems like he's got a dumb I'm luck. I'm so is, sorry. Is that is that the really really big nerd? He's the doof. Tries to be friendly. Uh, he's yeah. the doofy one that owes me a hundred bucks now if he doesn't come through. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna make fun of him. Uh, just okay. as much as I can. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, just, you know, don't make fun of him so much to where he just fucking quits because I, mean, I may still actually need him. Are you sure? Do I need him? And kind of goes, I mean, he was arrested once for cybercrime. That's not an indictment, but uh, yeah. it's impressive that he got the Panopticon chip out and that right. he didn't get reclaimed by Panopticon. Right, that's my curiosity. Like, I need to know more about this person. So maybe I keep him around long enough to get some info. We'll kind of go from there. Kind of, kind of goes. Whatever floats your boat. I told you I like broken things. It's a problem. Kind of, kind of goes. Something tells me you're a broken thing. Good luck with all that. Oh my god. Hey, it's right again. <laughs> hey, I want to play Damn. with the magic gate ball. I want to play with the magic gate ball. You don't get ball. to touch her. You don't get to play with her. Oh, hey. I, I, I think probably the most indicative thing uh, is Connor going, I might actually like this one. And then she just going, that's cool. I don't give a shit about your opinion, <laughs> which is probably my favorite guys. part of the whole conversation. What was um, it say? What is Lucky's last name? Andretti. So it's Marcine Andretti? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, is Payne, Payne and Connor, you're still around, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm going to look at you guys and just be like, okay, I have to work now. Is there anything else you need? You naughty person. I will find out. No? You don't know what's happening. Um, uh, oh, I look at Payne, like, do we need anything? See. Um, you'll just get a call oh. from an anonymous number, and all you hear is, "I don't know who you are, but I will find you. And <laughs> I will kill you." That's fair. 
I don't willing think to we. Take the rest. I mean, if there's any money in that finding that chip, it'd be it'd be nice to know. Probably goes well. I don't exactly have any fungible funds because, well, I'm not exactly considered a person. But uh, you know, I'm sure that my boss here would be willing to pay you something to the tune of ten thousand eddies for that chip. Home girl, you think I got that kind of money? I don't have that kind of money. Go talk to no, Lucky I've about seen, that kind of money. Kind of is like, kind of no, I've seen your bank account. You don't, but you could get it. I could get it. Yeah, you could easily get it. Oh, uh, we'll talk. We'll talk. You you travel down your and rabbit hole. I'll travel down mine. And when that lottery ticket falls apart, all you have to do is go to a payday loan, sell your kidney, and then use that money to buy another lottery ticket. I mean, that's what you do. Um, <clears throat> okay. That sounds like um, a very Amsterdam thing to do. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I gotta. I gotta do. I gotta do work things now. So you guys like have your shit, and I have like parts to install. I need time to work. So I'm gonna like. I'm getting up from the desk to like gently guide you out of this room. <laughs> Being shooed. <laughs> You're being shooed. Yes. I need privacy to work. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Don't do anything I'd regret, Amy. Uh, you're not here. You don't know what's happening. <laughs> so, as, as she clo- after she closes the door, I look at Payne's like, should I listen in? Like, I guarantee you my cyber audio will penetrate any wall that's in here. Yes. Yes, because okay. 10,000 sounds like a low ball. <laughs> yeah, you know, considering what it is, and it's a prototype? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want the fucking chip. I don't give a shit if you find the chip or not. I mean, I love Cash to death. Your she's, demon she's does. She's real great help, and she's wonderful at uh, editing brain dances, but but she's still. Awesome. I don't know about that robot, uh, the hologram, that Whatever it is, she's got in her little box. Oh, that AI thing? You know, yeah. one thing I... All the That's years, a dangerous thing to say. AIs. That's a dangerous thing to say, and you know it. I also have cyber audio. I can hear you. I'm going to literally pound on the door and be like, leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, shit. I like to see you make me. Oh, man. She'll just call I Ulf. Fuck. I could. I could. But I don't want to do I'd that. I'd like right to now. see her make me. She won't. She, she won't. No, she trusts you more than she trusts Cash. Yeah, probably. Unfortunately, yeah. that's um, true. If if they're gonna sit around and listen in, I'm gonna look at Jezbel and be like, uh take a peek at this for me. And I'm gonna fucking type in Marcin Andretti. Yep. And uh, then I'm going to also Cheek type in behind it. Sound, so I right. Uh-huh, right. Uh-huh. And then I'm also going to type in uh, there are ears. So this one needs to be slick. Yeah. You get a readout back and, uh, you know, she's probably filling it with idle chat. She's just like, yeah, that chip. Uh, I want to make sure that you get that to me because that thing is, uh, well, uh, you remember the deal? Um uh, Zenith, right. you know, anything Zenith cool that comes to me, Zenith. you've got you've got a, a specific deep in line to get a Zenith tech piece. So, uh, yeah, you're going to figure out how to pay them for that, probably. I mean, otherwise, yeah. I could just go into hibernate mode. And like as she's doing that, you get uh, you get um, a readout that essentially says uh, Marcina Andretti uh, uh, raised within Scarlatti family. Yep. Um uh considered um probably it's going to say and uh gunner how accurate is this mira i can help you here no 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 i've got one thing for you that gunner you're going to want to listen in on I'm, oh, I'm no listening. longer considered uh no longer considered um what is it the position you were in in the family, Capo consigliere. or consigliere? Consig, yeah, no longer considered consigliere. What does that mean? 
So uh, Ronsig would be like a special friend to the family, uh, an outside consultant. It's a position where you can have people that are in tenuous relationships with the family in certain ways. Like, the nice thing is they are considered expendable. So mm-hmm. if, They're like personalized info yeah. brokers. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can call them in as special advisors to do things, but also I can use them for certain things and have uh, an amount of, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, hands off uh, uh, plausible deniability if something goes wrong mm-hmm. usually referred to as a friend of ours instead of a friend of mine yes yeah. right. that's a good Got way it. to put it thank you okay um and yeah you 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 get a rough record of uh marcine uh you know her history and how mm-hmm. she like has ran with the gang before was trained under a guy named sam um uh what was sam's last name again fuck you had to ask me it's been so long uh i will pull you it had up. Uh, i haven't heard that name in a long time yep uh five seconds uh continue yeah. i'll find it but uh yeah and to to add some depth to that lucky was kind of just well, up until about, I mean, how long has it been in game since we started this? Six about months? four months at this point, four I months. think. Yeah, up until about four months ago, the footprint for the most part, outside of her work with the Scarlatis, she's just any other person. Uh, <clears throat> and by okay. that, I mean she was... Uh, uh nope that is not the proper last name i am looking 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 so just to, to to speed some of this along and we don't have to go over what are you looking all for of this exactly i'm just curious uh and honestly that's all it is i'm just curious um we don't have to do all of this right now because this will probably take up a lot of time uh i'm going to proceed to type in names and get some information on Connor McGregor, Payne Dexter, <laughs> Trixie, Scene, <laughs> Omen, Cachette. Ooh, I'd like to know more about Cachette. Uh, and uh, also um, uh, Trinix. Uh, even though I feel like I know a lot behind Trinix, but you know, just to just to kind of fucking have it just a full profile of everyone so, so uh i will give you the basics connor yeah fucking kick-ass mercenary has fought everywhere great right. record typically uh the only uh the only uh dark spot on his record was probably one case of insubordination in which that insubordination won them a very important battle some shit Lovely. like that you know some yeah. shit that's like like yeah, Sam Pascal. That's right. Um, let's see. Uh, Pain Dexter. Um, very good video or very good BD capture. Uh, has yeah. a pretty, I wouldn't say prolific, but a well versed record of many types of BDs, most of them involving violence and murder. Um, Pain, do you have anything that you want to add on to that? Um, hmm. Any secrets you'd like to share? <laughs> Any secrets I'd like to share? No, just works all over the place. Yep. Okay. Um, Cachette sold weapons in every field of battle in the world. Um, apparently had a radical personality change in North Africa, took a year off, came back, and uh, is very, very, very well regarded. Also designed the current patent that uh, the Uzi is used by the IDF. Um, taking a look at Omen. Uh, Omen is not hard to look up yeah, anything right. about. Literally Google right. him. Um, right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Trinix, there is no records of Trinix. Literally no records. He was a nobody. He's sinless. Oh. Like, he doesn't have a sin. He yeah. doesn't have any, like, they. he recently got a sin. Literally in, like, within 10 sessions ago, he got a sin. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? 
Uh, there's right. no fucking record on this kid. Um, right. Scene. Uh, most of the things you get of scene are uh, blurry uh, speeding cams. Uh, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Uh, <laughs> like scene doesn't have blurry... any. And and a uh, uh, probably at this point a half a million Eddie bounty from the Holland Forestry Service. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Why? Uh, oh, Why? because he's a chipper. Um, so a chipper. Uh, uh, a chipper is a nomad, right? Okay. Um, Got it. Holland Forestry Service. Just to give you a quick rundown, uh, tourism is New Amsterdam's number one export. Um, and the other thing is that they very carefully maintain some of the only green forests on the planet. Uh, mm -hmm. chippers operate in those forests and the Holland Forestry Agency is just as likely to tell you to get the fuck out as they are to blow your head off with a 50 cal anti-personnel exploding round. Gotcha. Uh, they okay. very much protect their lands. They have drones, autonomous robots, all sorts of shit that's meant to murder anyone who sits in those woods and aren't supposed to be in there. And the chippers yeah. are not supposed to be there, but they live there. Um, let's see Danger. here. Um, serum? Uh, Serum has apparently been a nobody. He was actually a, uh, a corpo for a while, not as in anyone of any power. He worked at, like, literally worked in a corporate building as one of the stooges who fucking took phone calls. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, probably for Ninja Cat Logistics. Um, yeah. We don't have to keep going through the whole list. It just is like, oh, mostly I will. just for flavor and funds. Okay. No, I will. Uh, <laughs> Felix uh, is also easy to Google. He is a popular lifestyle blogger who um, has a pretty decent fan base who has gone off the radar recently after footage that he had taken of the Red Eye War. Um, let's see here. You've got uh, Mr. Violet. Mr. Violet is uh, a very competent corporate in, uh, agent who works mm -hmm. under Hephaestus, um, who is not someone who is who you are at odds with. They're actually a construction company that's based entirely around evicting half of New Amsterdam and building new fucking buildings where they evicted them um, mm -hmm. for all those sweet Demos contracts. Uh, yeah, Violet is known as a uh, ruthless member of the boardroom. Uh, there is no record of his criminal activity, though you have seen plenty of criminal activity for him. Uh, yes. Let's see here. Moving on, you have got uh, Scav. Scav has a couple petty arrest records for... Um, for uh, disorderly conduct and vandalism um, was apparently a member of the street wardens for all of like a week. Um, <laughs> let's see here. And then who else do we have? Suzerain does not have a sin um, and it's yeah. very hard to look up. There is one news article that someone made that was talking about angels of the war zone uh, and had Suzerain as one of the uh, people that they interview. Um, yeah. Belle is much more, um, is much more, um, talked about than her twin sister, which, uh, mm -hmm. Belle is actually, um, has a couple articles written about her, about the Rin Sparrows, an up and coming group of loosely aligned anarchists, um, and how, uh, a 14 year old is one of the major players in this group. Um, mm -hmm. let's see here. And then Pierre, you can't find shit about, you sure. literally nothing about him. Like I figured white. Easy. Yeah. Um oh, let's see. Say what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> um let's see here. And uh am I missing anybody? I don't think so right now. Do you look up Trixie? Mm. <gasps> no, I don't look up Trixie. Well, <clears throat> no, I think you I look, look up Trixie. Trixie. I think you look up Trixie. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. I, I think you yeah, look up Trixie while I'm getting a more detailed list of everybody. They've had a conversation with. already about trust, and I think that would weigh down on her for that's, this decision. I I don't. Yeah, oh, I really sure. don't think I would. I think that's the only oh, yeah, one look, where look, I'm just like everybody else, but the most important person in your life yeah <laughs> okay so you are only looking up living current members yeah uh yes do you want me to look someone up you don't know i'm there you don't know what i'm doing no, 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 no. You I, could I look up saying, you're only looking for like living members so i have the list current, here yeah. so i know if we're done so we got oh, okay right who am i missing no we, did connor. We, we got connor all right trixie you're not doing did you look up serum uh yep, yep. Suzerain, like yes, yeah. um, yep. Boris. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, Boris is a ex river rat who is apparently on very bad terms. Uh, you guys did not know how bad of terms he was on. Apparently, he burned some slum lord 
uh, and uh, ended up um, half destroying part of his mega building on accident, completely actually on accident, helicopter accident, kind of slammed right through an old tenement. The place was shit anyway. Uh, Boris doesn't really do much business in that side of town now. Mm. Probably yeah. for the best. Okay. Lisa, yeah. head waitress. Uh, Lisa, um, far as you can tell, she's always sold skin, always been a waitress, always been a hostess. Uh, nothing too crazy about her. She was. She did actually know. Um, well, you wouldn't know to look that up. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Crusher. Oh, yeah. Bit Crusher. Uh, international criminal uh, for data piracy. Um, mm -hmm. Also, uh, not actually all that competent at music. <laughs> she's no, okay obviously. at music. She's um, great at stealing shit. Yeah, she's she she'd call it remixing. Right, for sure. I need to talk to her. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah, have, to talk to her. You also needed to go talk to what's her name? Uh, yeah, Madonna you still need, yep. You still need to talk <laughs> no, to her. No, I talked to no, her already. Something about something you talked to her time. about uh you talked to her about um what happened to her husband. Yes. Yeah. But I I have her on my list of like she can offer jobs. She can offer corpo jobs. I just yeah. haven't gotten in touch with her yet. Mm. Um, I am considering getting in touch with her to see if she would like to also be involved in the Pirate Bay. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of throw feelers out because I don't know if Lucky's going to actually want to be a part. And I'm going to need you get somebody. You black box, um, yeah. I know, I know I'm working on it, um, but I'm not working on it. My fucking brand new toy is working on it. Very excited. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I so, might help if I can. That being said, Kelly LeFay, also known as Chocolat. Uh Yeah, um, Chocolat. Uh She is exactly as she appears, as far as you can tell. She has warped skin. She got caught up in some shit that she didn't want to get caught up in. Uh, and, uh, while being a little bit too touched with, uh, sludge and other opiates, um, she got abandoned in the heroin house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, did you ask about Pierre? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no no information. Pierre. Completely white. Uh, right. let's see. You already talked about Felix, Violet. Uh, have you ever looked yourself up? No. <laughs> because I'm not ready to Never do that. Google Never yourself. Google yourself. Uh, you know, I fucking might. I might I fucking look say, me you up. You might see how big your footprint is. Yeah, I might. Just for shits and other, gigs. Other than that, there's also Trinix, Pandexter, and uh, dun, yeah, dun. Scene already. Mm -hmm. And that is yeah. it for the members, major, and minor shareholders. Okay. Okay, when she does Trinix, there's nothing she's going to know who my dad is, though. Uh -uh. Nope. No, because... Mm -hmm. The thing is... Oh, that no. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. I just realized it. Never yeah, mind. no. This is just all public record and slight scratching. Like, she's not... She's not digging deep. Like, the... Right. the yeah, it's it's getting baseline information, essentially. Right, which is totally fine. I don't need anything crazy. I was someday, just curious. Someday I'll hand you a list of our members that are on the wall and see what mm -hmm. you can dig up, but that will be a long time from now. And... Yeah. I mean, they're all dead or retired, so. Right. So you don't know I'm doing this yet. No. Um, yeah. I am going to compile all of that information, uh -huh. hands myself, because mm -hmm. no, I'm good. And um, everything except for Lucky shit. And I'm going to forward it on to Lucky. And then I'm going to say... Why are you not considered a whatever that C on word sick? is? A consig anymore with your family. <laughs> and so yeah. that seems like wow. an opportunity to cut to Lucky. <laughs> Why'd you get kicked out of your family, Lucky? Oh, What'd you sudden, do? It just shows Lucky with steam coming out her ears. So, uh, you sent me what information exactly? Just I the sent you the the compiled list of everything mm -hmm. that I've received, like on all of the people, right. uh, sans myself right. and sans Trixie. And I didn't send you anything about you. I have just asked a question. Ah, uh, you've just asked a question. Just asking questions. Meaning right. she totally <laughs> looked you up. Yeah, no, I, I mean, did. I, I mean, uh, what, oh, what else? And then I, I will mention, 
I will also like follow up text. I'll be like, I got a new toy. <laughs> and that's that's like the last thing I'll you say. Probably say I got a new toy. Also, getting into the black box sooner than expected. You oh, know, yeah. Maybe make her a little happy before you just tell her you just you know invaded right. her privacy. Yeah, no, for sure. Got a new toy. Getting into the black box sooner than expected. Maybe one last text that's like, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> when it requires the roll. Don't shoot me. <laughs> My office now. No, no. Um, Come unarmed. Oh, I, I will ask Jezebel to Connor try gets to refrain text. from talking to <laughs> Connor gets around. a text. New hit. She'll probably say, I'm my own woman, but you can say whatever. You can live your life. I just, you know. You don't I want am the one that to talk to for it. No. Yeah. No, that would be very bad. Um, but yeah, what, what, a uh, lucky, what are you doing? How do you respond? All that good stuff. Um, uh, she goes, great. You got a basic web search bot. Good for you. Thumbs up emoji. Ah. <laughs> she goes, when you're ready for real work, talk to me. And <clears throat> doesn't answer the consig question, which by oh, the way, lucky. I don't know how surprised you are about this, but you were never told officially that you're no longer a consig. At this point, anything with involving Valencia Scarlatti ceases to amaze me. Fair. It's, I would not be surprised if she said, hey, do you know you have a hit out for you for like 10,000 eddies for your head with Valencia's name on it? And I go, you know, that sounds about right. <laughs> Only ten thousand. Right. Go call her up right now. <laughs> well, yeah, she's doing that because then it won't be come to my attention right at the forefront. Because no one's gonna look at that and say, "Hmm, Lady in Black, ten k." Nah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I don't even think Connor would take that job. Nah. Not uh, I'd be it. demanding at least a hundred times more. Mm -hmm. Hell least. yeah. I do it for like 40 bucks. I'm well, just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I was going yeah, to say, dude, first you over have to over $40 cash. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> no. it, first you have to get past the, the Dutchman. Uh -huh. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And then you have yeah, to survive. I'm just kidding me out. I'm just kidding me out. Then you have to survive Lucky. But, no. Uh, Lucky, what are you doing? <laughs> well, Lucky is about to send out work assignments. Uh -oh. Which you're being cut out from now. Oh, oh, that's whoa. fine. I've got other shit to do anyway. It's cool. Oh, you're going to want to do this. Is it going to make money? It's going to keep people from killing us, which is the second best thing to making money. I do love that that's the second best thing. Always. Yeah. Let's see. So, here. floor is yours. Okay. First things first. Need to get a hold of Violet. Okay. Basically, just going to tell him uh, Amy Akoko. Name ring a bell? Um, call or text? Call. Probably say no. Mainly because I'm paid not to know names like that. Hmm. Well, now you're going to be paid to know names like that. Amy Akoko. Oh. She uh, is de facto head of the Yakuza here in town. Probably goes yes, used to work for paramilitary groups under op. And then some. Long story short, I need to know what a Chinese woman is doing running a section of a Japanese gang. Kinda, kinda goes. Hmm, not a bad line of inquiry. And if I lose my pinky to some Yakuza? You know there's hazard pay involved. <laughs> kinda, 
you can almost hear him grin through the phone and says, one would hope so. I'll figure what I can figure. Yeah, just bring your pocket uh, pocket knife with you. I'll have to inspect it, make sure it wasn't your own pinky you cut off. Oh, yeah, he'll he'll say, wouldn't dream of it. And uh, anything else? Mm, not at the moment. Okay. And, yeah. All right. Next, we're going to be sending texts out to... Oh, let's start with... Okay, I don't have anybody on that yet. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to be basically sending uh, as a text back to... Yeah, we'll start with Cash. Remember how she said she wanted you to cause trouble? Well, she's mm -hmm. going to be pointing you in a specific direction, specifically Zenith. She doesn't wow, know that what lines you guys have perfect. found yet, but that was the plan all along. Basically, I hey, can confirm this is completely serendipitous. Okay. Yeah. I no. kind of figured that's where I was headed anyway, because we kind of talked about that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, basically, their name has come up so fucking much, it's, it's hard not to send our only net runner anywhere but. Yeah. You know. Uh also I want you to pull data on Officer Henrik, badge number four four five zero. Okay. Little Officer Henzik, the worst of the worst. He is head, dude. currently over the White Wolf occupation of CBS. What was his badge number again? Four four five zero. Basically, I want dirt. I want actionable intel and dirt because my plan is for us to go in there, be some big goddamn heroes, and Julian Julian's going to owe us one. Mm -hmm. While at the same time, making sure the Wren Sparrows don't go extinct. We'll help them help us. Other people that will make happy aside from Julian Julian, is probably Bele. And Suzerain, hopefully. Oh, should... Suzerain would be pretty happy if he stopped being a problem. Other things to think about? Uh, so, Officer Hensick has been... Uh, I am going to maybe be... <laughs> He's... Gestapo. That's basically what he's been in CBS. Um, mm -hmm. also things to note, um, there were nerve agents released from moving vehicles in CBS. I want to know what the mm -hmm. fuck that's about. Um, that is pretty much it from there. I've kind of got you under two umbrellas right now, but I think with your new AI companion, you should be able to handle it. Oh, it's an it's an AI companion. Oh, I mean, my. honestly, just, she's the shit. How many um, how many times am I going to have to fake deflect the idea that she's AI? Oh, you know, <laughs> not because we've already decided it. Yeah. It's yeah. in the brains. It's happened. Um, I do want to make like uh, I want to always be wirelessly connected to her. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, one more thing, Cash, just mm -hmm. to let you know before uh, Cyrus moves on. Um, AI is super illegal. Super like you guys have gotten in some shit. This is some like some like like combined operations to take down AI shit. Like even info dev is like nope, uh, -uh nope, nope. We don't do AI unless it's under us. Right. Yeah. For um, sure. Yeah. This is something and they're very where Mister E would come back. And then go, I'm sorry, it's out of my hands. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is some fucking some Billy Maltrese level shit of just like, mm -hmm. no, you should not have that. Okay. You are dealing I'm fine with, with this. very bad doo doo. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's 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 fair. I mean she's murdered a lot of people by accident, so valid. Trinix Same. Omen. 
you're going to get messages for your new work assignment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Omen, you're getting looped in on this. You're not going to be treated as an employee. You're going to be treated yeah. as like, hey, this is what I think we need to focus on. Basically, We're solving some problems. Could use your help. Basically, yeah. the way I've got it written is first we all get jumped, then Artis decides to pay us a visit, something doesn't add up, and now the Yakuza think they owe us a favor? The House of Cards has just gotten a little more interesting here. Um, <sighs> how? Let's see here. I basically am needing, hey, whatever info we can pull in on this, Amy, I have a feeling your stuff is going to get roped in with ours. Mm, it's uh, fine. But, Omen, uh, especially since you've... Omen, have you uh, gone and uh, had your little meeting yet? Meeting? No. You know what I'm talking about? With the bartender? At Ice Nine, yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't. I don't think so. That's something we should consider doing in soon. Um, yeah, meeting, Trinix, kidnapping, same thing. I'm gonna need is it's it's basically gonna go down like this. As much as I am reticent to say this, it looks like Rainier is the one thing that is going to keep you somewhat safe, safe in Artis for the moment. Do the thing you do, where somehow you get people that hate you to not hate you so much. You're gonna get a message back. Already started. Oh. Yeah. No. Absolutely. All right. Good. Um. Don't die. Um. Or do. It's not like I care, Paco. Uh. No. I. I need him. I need him. Um. Okay. Connor Payne Cachette. I've got you guys. I want you guys to see what trouble you can get up to in Nord. Okay. Yeah. I basically just Way putting, ahead of you. Let's put the Nazis out of business permanently. First, though, we need to link up with Union. If we get them on our side, this becomes immediately more manageable. I will be sending... I will be in contact with Ingvar to find a place to work out of. I'm going to see, or I'm at the very least, I'm going to see what he can do for us. He may be able to get us in contact with some union heads. Um, let's see. There's that. Is there anybody I missed? I think that's. I think that's it. Well, Kachet has and something talk. to uh, oh. send to Connor, actually, which is uh, come down to my range. I have something for you. Winky face. XOXO. Yeah, yeah he just sort of texts text back, like, okay. Yeah. I love that. That, I think, is all I have, so you guys can do that. You gonna ask Sierra Winky to do anything? Face. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep him out of the line of fire, especially after what just happened. Okay. But that being said. He wouldn't forgive you if he didn't send him with uh cachette. Yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. Why does he want to see the new stompy robot in action? No, the revenge. You'd be withholding him from the revenge that he oh so once. His new gun. You're talking. Oh, Felix, you're talking about. You talking oh, wow, sorry, Felix. Sorry, never mind. Take it all back. What? I thought you said Felix, and then I just realized you did not say Felix. No, I said serum. Serum. Uh, yeah. Serum would also want to go shoot things. Uh. Or he'll fix the van. I was gonna say um, your van. I actually have something a little different for Serum. I can talk to. Uh, Mirror okay. privately later. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as for Felix, actually, I think it would be a good idea to at least extend that invitation to help the three of you with Nord. Oh, it, you get one text back, and that is, got it, when and where. 
Perfect. <laughs> uh, basically, I would just direct cat Felix cat to link up with... Uh, well, I, I kind of know Cachette has already put feelers out on that side of town, so mm -hmm. I would just direct him to Felix. Uh, direct him to Cachette. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, I think that before we end tonight, I have two more things I want to do. So hang on with me, folks. First things first. Omen. Yeah. I believe you had a plan of something to do. Kidnap a bartender. So, how do you prep this, first and foremost? Uh, well, Just I was going to ask I want to be there when Lucky. you torture him. I mean, I mean, when you interrogate him. I mean, Oh, I was going to ask Lucky uh, to help with the kidnapping. <laughs> I am more than... Uh, yeah. No, seriously. It's just... <laughs> When and where? Actually, probably not even that. It's a I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah. Because we need to figure out a place to get him alone, first and foremost. So probably like where he lives. Uh, I'm not good at information gathering. So he'll probably ask if you have someone that can track down where this dude lives. Do I have a person that can track <laughs> down where people live? <laughs> That sounds like a uh, street deal <laughs> sort of uh, vibe. Yeah, easy. Also, mommy, I need street deals for parts. Yes. Um. Okay. So first and foremost, Ooh. that's the street deal to uh, find the guy. Can you give me one more street deal for Cachette there? I suppose. Uh, Cachette, normal markup or uh, normal cost, no markup. Uh, you're getting them wholesale. You'll get them in two days. Sweet. Perfect. Do you All want right. me to just do that roll now to the weaponsmith one? Um, yeah, go ahead and roll that weaponsmith now. Oh. Damn. Still fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, it'll probably take you, once you get those, it'll probably take you about five days to get the entire shipment done. That's the lowest roll you can do, and you're still killing it just not on my a game today i'm not on my my hot girl <laughs> shit true sometimes you aren't on your hot girl shit and that's okay i almost said hot goy shit but i was like yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> um okay um so yeah uh you know the bartender for the ice nine actually has had his name illegally changed because of the bar he works at uh his name is uh his name is um we're going to say that his name is Blizzard. Uh, you find Blizzard pretty easily. He's not a hard man to track down. He he's fucks around a, a lot. Queen, isn't he? No, he's not a Dairy Queen. He's at, he's at a um, what a dogger. Um, but no, uh, you're able to. <laughs> yeah, you're able to um, find him. His commute back home is a very isolated one. Very easy to snatch up. Yeah, I just send those details to Omen and go, all right, where you want to hit him? i probably find a spot that's like the most isolated. I'm just yeah. like, right here would be perfect. Me too. <laughs> and then I'll be like, do you have a warehouse or something uh, soundproof? Soundproof. <laughs> I know a spot. DM, can I just, can, can we agree that I know a spot that is isolated? Yeah, that sounds about right. Somewhere it would definitely be squatter. You don't own the spot, but oh, you no. can certainly go there. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Can't be traced back to us. <laughs> it'll do, it'll be in a spot of town where nobody cares where the screaming's coming from. Yeah, probably as most west as most warehouses are set out here in Zeebird. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so. Yeah, you guys probably have it. Do you do this at night or during the day? What vehicle are you using? Oof. I leave that up to Ullman. He's the rich one. I'd probably just rent some kind of van. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> rent a random van, night or day? Nighttime. Okay. So you're probably actually catching him on his way to his shift. Uh, 
you know, Ooh, and maybe, uh, he's walking through an alleyway, you know. Um, maybe after a shift. So that would be daytime. Like, yeah, early morning. He works overnight. Yeah, okay. Because uh, um, if he doesn't make it to a shift, I mean, people might start looking. Let's right. Give give us a nice, like, 10 hours where no one's going to be expecting him. Yeah. He so, um, live, who knows? Depends how yeah. cooperative he is. So, uh, you guys so, are, uh, you know, you guys see him uh, walking along. He's, he's right after a shift. He looks beat. He's got a beer in his hand from the bar. He's drinking it, probably finishes it. He does that thing where he tries to take a drink and realizes it's empty and hucks it at a wall and it breaks, you know. Walks by a homeless guy, tosses him a couple heads, you know. Um, fucking uh, just lights up a cigarette or something. Um, and uh, he probably makes a turn down an alleyway where you guys have ensured that no one is in. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna let Omen handle this. I assume Omen already has a concoction of something. <laughs> Always. Um, I will probably... Hmm, probably just stand in the dark corners of the alley. Mm-hmm. And wait for him to approach. Yeah, and he's, he's walking along and... You know, he probably... Is it the kind of thing where he would see you as he approaches, or no? Probably not. I'm okay. in all dark clothing. Yeah, and he's he's after work, tired, slash a tiny bit tipsy, probably pounded a couple beers before he Maybe left. Maybe if he sees me, it's like, it might just think I'm just some guy, like homeless dude, just leaving Yeah, absolutely. Wall. You know, and he's, he kind of casually walks by you, and, you know, maybe he stops by a dumpster, and, you know, looks like he unzips his pants to take a piss. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I'll grab him from behind and hit him with uh, one of my needle fingers. Okay, and what are you hitting him with? Uh, so there's a pre-made drug called Sandman, which is sleeps for D10 hours, but I need like a watered-down version of that. You know, something. Okay. Oh, actually, is it? Uh, that's morphine. Makes it for several hours. I guess just a sedative, yeah. Sedative is duration one d ten minutes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Renders the patient unconscious and swiftly, safely, and quickly. The trauma team international just hit him with a sedative. Excellent. You hit him with a sedative, and uh, you know, I'm assuming you drag him to the van. Oh yeah, I drag. I just pick him up in one arm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you take him to the van. Lucky, are you driving? Yeah, she'll be in the driver's seat. Yeah. And uh, you guys drive him out to Zebur. Um, you uh, you find yourself in a small warehouse, uh, something that uh, is mostly empty at this point, pretty far on the edges, pretty far off the road. These blocks are really big, so main roads are far and few. Uh, it's probably something like right around here or something. Sounds good. Yeah, but how you have them set up? So he's going to be uh, tied up or handcuffed. Yeah. Essentially, arms spread, legs spread. All right. Probably just in his underwear. Mm -hmm. Uncomfy. Uncomfy. Mm -hmm. But it's going to feel great for him for a while. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Probably as he's waking up is when I'll hit him with a... A dose of, <laughs> uh, what is it called? Is it communion? No. Or is it communion? I think it's called communion. But it'd be some other type of drug. Essentially, it makes them feel extremely euphoric as if they're in the embrace of God themselves. God. <laughs> makes yeah. them super blissful and have a spiritual experience and just the greatest time of his life for like 60, 10 minutes. Yeah. So, like, for maybe an hour less. Yeah. Let me let me real quick roll that. Sixty. So yeah, for thirty-eight minutes. Yeah. So for about forty minutes, he's like, you know, like he's like, oh my god. And I'm uh, I'm aiding in that wonderful feeling he's having. 
Yeah, uh, like he's like he's like <laughs> he's like, Am I in heaven? Of course. You were in the greatest heaven on you could ever yeah. experience. But this drug is a homemade drug. Mm-hmm. And it has a negative side effect. Uh-huh. That when it wears off, it causes intense paranoia and hallucinations. Good. Yeah, so for about 40 minutes, he's having a great time, and then he starts to kind of look a little concerned, and then starts going, wait a minute, what the fuck? Wait. I'm waiting for that moment. Fuck is, why am I having handcuffed? What the fuck is going on? Why don't you tell us? I was... I don't know. What? Lucky is making an effort to stay out of his line of sight. So all yeah. he hears... Uh, you can be behind him. Yeah. All yeah. he hears is her voice, which might end to the uh, add to the hallucinations. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. voice, soft, quiet, probably relaxing. And then Omen is just like, Welcome to hell. It is time to repent, my child. And he's going to dig one of his claws into the guy's shoulder. Yeah, he's like, ow, what the fuck? Oh, shit. (laughs) What did I do? Who the fuck are you guys? For the things you have done. He's like, what do you mean what I've done? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't know she was taken. (laughs) Oh, shit. You tried to kill someone with a drink. Murder what? is the most greatest crime. What the f- Why would I- Why? I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Someone just managed to get a hold of some of your stock. Now, there was a man- Oh gosh, how long ago was it at this point? Like four nights ago. Yeah. There was a concert, an omen concert. You remember it, don't you? Yeah, he's right fucking by me. Of course. Do you remember what happened that night? I... I fucking... There was the concert, and then there was cops, and fucking... I don't know. I Mm. fucking kept my shit out of it. Unfortunately, that isn't entirely the case. How easy would it be for someone to spike the drinks you serve? He's like, yeah, I don't know. What kind of, what, wait, what? Like, what kind of drinks? Uh, it's, uh, she'll just mention what Scav had. It was like bottles of beer, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He says, I oh, don't know. I fucking, I opened them myself. I didn't put shit in them. Someone had done some crazy shit. So either you're lying, which is not in good taste, or... We need to know your supplier. Where you got them. He's like, I swear fuck. I swear to fuck I'm not lying. <laughs> I believe you. But my friend here, I'm not so certain. Yes, I'm playing oh, good cop, bad cop. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, and I'm like... the good cop here? What the fuck? Somehow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dig my claw a little bit deeper in. Ah! It's like... <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. And he's like looking around. He's just like, he's fucking so fucking hot in here. He's like, he's sweating. I told you, you were in hell. Who would have had access to your drinks? And who was your supplier? He's like, my supplier. My supplier is Twilight. Like everyone else's fucking drinks out here. He's yeah. Hi. Uh, and he like throws up on himself. <laughs> He's like, I, uh, I, my, I, uh, people who access my drinks have been my barbacks, and I, just, I don't know. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's nothing useful here. What do you think, Omen? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Ah. This guy's a mess. Mm-hmm. Like, would anyone else have access to where you store your drinks? 
He's like, I don't know, security fucked up, maybe, but like, anyone who worked there? They got the one drink that was meant for the one person they wanted to target. Kind of goes, I hey, wait, hi. Uh, there was guys, there was guys in suits. It was like a, a lot of them. I thought that they were, that they were industry people. They acted really fucking weird. That's your... Hmm. Omen you gives a smile, like... which probably... Yeah, oh. go ahead. Omen gives a smile, which maybe the hallucination makes even bigger. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It sounds like, she says, getting just behind him, you're trying to be useful. It might end better for you if you continue that. Otherwise, he's like, we may have to cut you loose. He was like, I, I put a finger a... under his groin when she says that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he's like, fuck, man, fuck, please. I, there, were, there were guys in suits. There was one. He was big. He was built like a brick shit house. Fucking square ass fuck head. It's hard to fucking miss him. I you had a fucking. I had a tattoo. Tattoo on his neck. Really? What of? He's like, I don't know, man. It was a fucking, like a snake or something, man. It's just dark. It's not like I can fucking make it out. Does that sound familiar at all? (sighs) Yeah. That sounds like he's describing Rainier. Hmm. Oh, wait. But Rainier, no, Rainier wasn't there with or with our boy. No, Rainier didn't show up until the next day. Yeah. Hmm. And that but I don't know. I don't know this from here, so it only be also you. the next morning him looking like hammered shit. Um, but that maybe that means he was also attacked. Hmm. We'll have to question Rainier. Hmm. I am not playing. Yeah, that same let's game question with Rainier. Rainier. Um, <laughs> so let's go and she would probably pause for a moment and go. <laughs> Oh dear, that sounds like a lie. Because that person you're describing, I know. And wouldn't do like, something was... like that. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not fucking lying. There was a whole fucking bunch of business motherfuckers. There's like fucking like 12 of them or something. There are suits all over this town. You haven't given me anything to go off of. That's a shame. And go ahead and make me a human perception. Yeah, absolutely. Would you also like a perform role? <laughs> no. Oh, am I am I am I being effective enough? Okay. He's on drugs. That's uh point. as far as you can tell, this drugged out fuck is like he is being the equivalent of a canary. He is singing. You know what I mean? Like he's he's giving uh, yeah, you no. <laughs> everything he fucking Jesus. does. Jesus. Oh yeah. yeah, no empathy. You, yeah, I was going to say, Jesus, where's the empathy? Uh, yeah. Mine ain't so hot, but that's because I got blown up once or twice. Um, yeah. <laughs> regardless, I'm mm. going to play him like this because if he truly knows nothing else, then okay. I'll scare yeah. the shit out of him and then leave and Omen can yeah. do whatever. Or he knows more and... He'll say so. Yeah. Oh. oh dear. Well, you tried. I'm sure it was your best. And yeah. she stands up. And he's just like quiet. He's just like you see at this point, he is catatonically afraid. Mm-hmm. He literally has he's like, I'm going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I suppose, uh, she says, looking at Omen, we're just going to have to find the next bartender they hire. I'm sure one of them will tell us that it was actually Artiste this time. He's like, Artiste? What the fuck? Where did I... I'm just a fucking bartender! <laughs> mm. Fuck, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do anything. I don't know what I did. I'm sorry that I did it. 
Well, let me just put it this way. You had a 24 carat run of bad luck. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for the eternal sleep now. I and then I'll so just as well. you put a finger on. to his neck and then inject him with something that's going to put him to sleep for D10 hours. And then the side effect is uh, memory loss. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. I, I love, love that. <laughs> and then uh, once he's out, done, tie him, chuck him on my shoulder. We're just going to go outside. I'm going to look for a dumpster and just chuck him in there. Mm. He's going to wake up and go, wow, must have been a crazy night. I don't know exactly. any chickens. <laughs> <Good. bird." laughs> yep. Yeah. God. Well, remind me to never fuck a zebra chick again. You'll wake up in a dumpster <laughs> with neck wounds. Oh, and a, and a, and a shoulder <laughs> infected shoulder by now. I wanted to tell yeah. you wake up. No, absolutely. Mm. Um, yeah, and you you huck him into the dumpster. Yep. yep. Well, that was less fruitful than I would have liked. However, it's given it us one. Even... Go ahead. Even though... You know this man that was in there. You stay his artiste. <laughs> she, using her internal agent, just flicks him a picture. She has pictures of everyone who came into uh, Tartarus that morning. Oh, next yeah. Next morning. Uh, she flicks him Rainier's picture, and she goes, Sound familiar? Well... No, he seems like he would be fun to work over in more ways than one. I would be careful of that. He is currently, uh... Do you remember Trenix? Uh, I don't think I met him. Okay. Yeah. You've never a, met me. Yeah. I have a, uh... Young man working in our clinic down below. His name is Trenix. You even run a clinic? Artis oh. has taken an interest in him, and uh, as of such, that man, she says, nodding towards the agent, is, um, well, Trenix's bodyguard. Well, we may have to difficult. use some kit gloves on this one. I do not like dealing with artists. They are too powerful for anyone to be. I agree. But at the end of the day, everything runs back to them. More specifically, Zenith. <sighs> I've got our netrunner working on it. Hopefully she drags up something more actionable. At this point, I'm either hoping to do something to get them off our backs, or, well, do something to get them off our backs. Ah. Sorry, cat jumped in my lap and it scared me. <clears throat> that means I may have to uh, figure out... Hey, Trinix, you ever faked your death before? Ah. Hi. No, but I just had a random thought. Before you went and did this whole little scare tactic thing, the night before I walked into the bar thing. No, right. this was at Ice Nine. I know, yeah. but the old one, the one you own, before yeah. you went and did all this interrogation stuff, you see me walk in the door. Yeah, but uh, so Renee wasn't. True. Rainier wasn't assigned your bodyguard until the next morning. No, he's talking about today. No, like today. I walk yeah. into the bar without, oh, without Rainier. Rainier. Yeah. Without Rainier. Uh, and go she, see. She assumes that he's Bichette. probably not going to be glued to you all the time. And she also, has no we can to say that he won't be back. Yeah, that's fair. And actually, one thing I was going to do. Um, you guys have anything else in this? I think I'm good. I'll probably like, I need to take some time off. Why don't we both go to your bar and I can spend some of my hard-earned money? Mm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and it's in the van. <laughs> yeah. 
And yeah, yeah. we are going to cut to one more thing for the night. Trinix, you find yourself in front of Cachette's door. Rainier is not with you. I, I knock on the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's a brief moment before Cachette opens it. And he's still just in like a, a cutoff in his cargo pants, looks around, and is like motions for you to come in. He kind of walks in. What's up? Uh, um, yeah, his room is. It's it's lived in messy. There's still some boxes, some like moving boxes. Most of them are empty and have been broken down and set aside. There's a machining table against one wall with a a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of just gun parts all over the place. And some guns half built, some guns just concept work, if nothing else. Um, but brings you in is like, I need you to tell me everything you know about Rainier. He's a bodyguard. He works for there. Uh, science people. Artis, yes. Yeah, but Artis. has he always worked for Artis or? As far as I, I, I know. know. Here's the thing, you know who Demakshbi are, right? Sure. He is the son of the head of Demokshbi, who disappeared when he was 19. Did he have That's... healing back then? Like, like, super healing back then? How should I know? I wasn't there. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying, he's got massive healing now. Probably from whoever turned him into whatever he is now. But that is why the old man, Bepin of Stephanophilus, got so upset. And now I'm worried that because he is going to go and tell his father, something is going to happen between Demakshbi and Artis. Okay, they do it, then I can go get my dad's research back. Okay. Is your dad's research worth risking the entire Jewish quarter? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. It brings that one dude back to life. You know, the dude in the medical bay that's in the coma? No, I... You, what? Back to life. Did I hear that right? Oh, back yeah. Back to life. So, yeah. My dad did research into that, and... It got stolen, or somebody else has it, and we're trying to get that to understand how to resynapse the brain to bring it. He goes like into an in-depth medical description of how it kind of works and what it's going to do. Kishet knows enough about science to like know these words, but he doesn't understand these words in this specific order. Yeah, and and to give you an overview, because I know Rowan, you haven't been super around alpha coma. Thing that uh, that net runners get sometimes whenever they get derezzed against their own will, uh, typically means that they like it's like a one percent chance that instead of dying they'll go into an alpha coma, and from that no one has ever awoken from an alpha coma. Yeah, he just looks stunned by that. It's like, how well does he like you, Rainier? I mean, not your fault. I don't know your father. You might have a good relationship with your father. That's not what I'm talking about right now. I, I have no idea who my father is. I was young when he was taken away and apparently killed by this dude I work for. But anyway, um, oh, yeah. Rainier is kind of cool. I, I, I think he's what liking me mean? more, but if he finds out about this conversation, I think he might fucking rip my head off my shoulders. But eh, whatever. Well, first things first. You are remarkably blasé about these things. 
Hey, I healed the dude, put him completely back together, and watched a cop shoot him in the freaking face after I put the body parts back in him. So, I I've seen a lot. Fair. I like how that's your most remarkable thing, not seeing a feat of supernatural fucking, like, psychic ability, like, like throwing cars. Whatever they've done, I don't know. But he is dangerous now, obviously. See if you can't get him yeah. to like you, though. Oh, I've been doing that since the beginning. Plus, I got a mission from uh, Miss Boss Lady to actually do that. So, I've been trying to be nice to him. He's warming up to me slowly. Actually, I've been trying to be nice to him since the first day I started working over there. It was hard at first. But as you get to know more people and, you know, get into them, you know, you, they can be nicer and it goes better. Friends are good to have in all aspects. Yeah. Finally, someone here who understands basic human sympathy. Oi. Beyond that, we need a way in to Artis because we believe that they are somehow responsible for all of the bad shit that's happened to us. <laughs> you can go inside Artis. I am not setting foot inside that place. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, like I can go in. in. I can go in whenever I want. I actually have an ID for them. Oh and he god. kind of pulls it out of his pocket and be like, look, they gave me a little access card. <laughs> my god. Good lord, I love Trinix. You are so incredibly blasé about this. Oh, well, he's a kid. Yeah. Kid yeah. with a lot of trauma. A lot of trauma. Hold on. Is there a way that you could get into personnel databases? Uh, I don't know much about computers. I kind of just do research about the whole brain snap. <laughs> like, I yeah. thought about talking to Cat. Wait, I just had a random thought. I, I wonder if before he comes back, I could put Cash to put something on his little tracker thing that Artis has him that he gave to me so that it shows that he's still around me. Technically, I'm at home right now, so don't tell anybody I'm not here. Um, anyways, yeah, that's an option. Man, I wish I knew about the demon. Uh, I know. <laughs> so it could be like, hey, just put take the deem take a copy of the demon or the demon itself, and just put it in their computers. No, you can't have my demon. <laughs> I, mean, I love her. That's I a good idea. idea. About Jezebel, she would definitely fucking do it. She fucking might. I don't Wait, know. so you mean you're just gonna put me, like, directly inside their mainframe? Fuck yeah, send me! <laughs> send me, queen. <laughs> but, and he's like, good, good idea. Yes, do that. Also, speak to Cash and see if she has some cockamamie plan up her, uh, wherever these netrunners get their plans. Is and, it her sleeves? Uh, I think they make them up as they go along. Well, I was going to say in there any oh. like motions for like a cord that you pull out of the back of your neck. What? Oh, yeah. Isn't that a thing in yeah, this? Yeah, a bunch of wires. Yeah. You got a bunch of wires coming out of her all over the time. It's kind of weird. To that one of those planned is a four letter word. Well, here's the thing go to her, see if she can help you. If you can get into their personnel databases and figure out. If they turned Samson into this, or if they got him from somewhere else, or if aliens did it, I don't know. It could be anything at this point. This city is a nightmare. Why did I come here? <laughs> <laughs> I came here to sell guns and kill Nazis. I have done one, not the other. I'm in the process of the other. But at the same time, I have found out that there is someone now who is apparently pulling parts of their body out with no consequences, and also they are apparently being abducted and for 20 years turned into these things, and... Ugh. Just, okay, just get in the computer. Now. Yeah, gotcha. Kind of tripping for some reason, but alright, yeah, that's cool. 
Good. And remember, we never talked. Until we uh. figure out what we're going to do, even the boss lady does not know that we talked. I'll look around the room to see if there's a camera. Hiding shit from the boss lady. That's going to go well. And Maybe because do we don't want to present uh we don't want to present our document until it is fully ready. Right. God. Okay. We'll see how that I don't goes. care. I still look around the room to see if there's yeah. a camera in the room. There... If there was a camera, he would have either disconnected it or put like a a funny picture in front of it. Mm -hmm. Generally, it is in poor taste to uh you know, put cameras in people's bedrooms. Lucky? Taste? Uh, teasing. What, are you going to tell me I'm going to put cameras in the fucking bathrooms now, too? No, there aren't any there, either. This is, I mean, this is New Amsterdam. You know what? Sell just, that for for a lot the, of money. just for the hell of it, go ahead and give me an awareness notice. Go for it. pretty good you find a crack in the wall and in that crack in the wall is some old bubble gum ew <laughs> there's not fucking cameras in your room <laughs> uh, what we found was worse <laughs> sanity damage yeah take some sanity damage lose some humanity who puts gum yeah no, 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 no. Who parked no, their better. car on my sandwich? <laughs> better, <laughs> better. You look in the hole in the wall, and there's a hula girl. Oh, no. Oh, no, my no, Lantha. No, no, no. no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Not in this universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's now canon. The hula girl's oh, dimensional <laughs> hop. <laughs> but, yeah. So, one last thing before I go is go to Cash and ask her be like hey so the big bodyguard dude that's not with me right now um he's being tracked all the time to know where he's at and i have access to said tracking chip thing can you put something on it if you come back to my place real quick oh is this a really so that, hey. way to ask for a date th this is a the last time I did something for Artis, or did something and we brought it into Artis, it got turned off. So I can try, but I can't make any guarantees. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah. Like, it's, I'm worried it's going to cause bigger problems for you. In the future. Oh, like getting but my I head would... ripped off my shoulders again. Got it. Yeah. I'm um, already making but... enough. Bed. Plants it on Rainer. Again. I... Ah. Find I'd a way to plant it on. Again come from? Well, hey, literally, he's find... like, hey, you can stitch it on me tomorrow. Find a, yeah. That's I was literally like, what he said. Find something to yeah. put on Rainer. Mm, yeah. Don't, put, don't um, put it in the tablet or don't put it in the thing you're going to put in him because if that's detected, he's going to know exactly who put it there. But if it's right. just like on his person, he can suspect, but he won't know if it was uh, like that. Uh, God, why can't I remember your name? Uh, your shit? Trinix. No, Trinix. Trinix. Yeah, they, 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 he won't know. He won't know for sure if it was Trinix or someone else at the bar. At least that mm -hmm. way, it won't go right back to Trinix. Right. Do you have? You said you have access. Like, do you have code to this? No, I had the device. He ripped it out of his neck and handed it to me and said he had shit to do and he'd come back tomorrow when it's time for work and I'm supposed to leave it outside my bedroom door, which, or outside my apartment door, which currently is that. So that according to whoever's tracking that would think I'm still at home, which I should be getting back to eventually in case they check and that I'm not there and then I lose my head. Right, right. That's a whole lot. That's you've just given me a whole lot. Um, uh, where are we right now? Because he wouldn't be in the runner's closet with me. I mean, that's up to you guys. Mm. I'm not going to dictate wherever I found you. 
Yeah. Oh, no, you don't have access to any of that because you got a tail all the time. So I took all of your access away. Yeah. So yeah. if nothing else, you're able to go to the med bay. Right? No. Yeah. Not even in the med bay. No. Oh, yeah, because uh, Hank has is all in the there. information with Hank. Yeah. That's right. That's and right. Hank. So we yeah. probably met out like at the bar area. Um, so I'd be like, uh, hold on. I'll be right back. Just just stay here. And I'm going to go back to the runner's closet and fuck it. Might as well fucking utilize my brand new toy. Uh-huh. And I'm just going to fucking ask her. Like, last time we tried to get into Artis, they shut down all of our shit. However, we have access to a tracking device that's on uh, our little doctor's tail. How functional uh what can you do because clearly i'm not clever enough and you've already dipped into our teeth what seven times one we don't talk about uh first of all i'd like to point out calling it your little doctor's tail makes me think that your doctor is a shih tzu which is adorable second of all do you want me to suffocate because if you put me on a chip like if, if you put me on a tracking chip that's not gonna have nearly the space that i need no, no, I I don't want to put you, I don't want to send you in there if I can avoid it. Because frankly, I just don't want to see you get hurt. I just maybe need a little help figuring out how to bypass all of the ways they track uh, things that, you know, they don't want in there. Um, well, I'll give it to you with the narrow and skinny. You're not going to get anything in there unless you put something on a hard line in there. And on top of that, you're not going to be able to sneak shit past security unless they're expecting erroneous materials. Right. Best way I've ever gotten in, most reliable, it's worked three times now. Uh, you bring in something that you for sure say, yes, this has a virus on it, and we're wanting to bring it to the virus lab so we can analyze it to better prepare for it. They never see it coming. Never. Ooh. Ooh. You're clever. Yeah, I've got a lot of time to work this out. One of your seconds is 500 years for me. It's really boring. Anyway. God, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Well, hopefully Jesus. we can fix some of that. Um, no, that's just the way that I am. But you know what? I like having information to pull over during those years. True, Yeah. I'd love to sit down and talk with you about our teas sometime, but we probably can't do it right now. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it later. Uh, she kind of so, goes, not with all the RT bugs in your building. <laughs> what? Just kidding. <sighs> oh, bitch, <laughs> I will break your chip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't say that out loud. Uh, <laughs> I don't piss off the uh, not AI. Um, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I appreciate your input. It's incredibly valuable. Maybe we can work something out a little bit later, but uh, I'm going to go let my little doctor know his tail is fucked. Okay, have fun with your shih tzu, buddy. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking... Run back out to Trinity. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. Not, no, it's but, not uh, at this time. Okay. Thought Sorry. I'd give you the option. Thank you. For giving me the option, but in the future, I'm down to do something different. Okay. Well, I'm going to go home and go to bed so I'm bright and fresh when he shows up tomorrow morning. Okay, don't die. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Trinix in his head probably has something like, why does everyone keep telling me that? That's the third time today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I think from there, we are going to call it for the night. Um, everybody, you got some good shit going on. So, we are going to do... What's that? I'm breaking the 7 IP barrier to give you 8 IP. This was an important session. You guys did good. Uh, along with that, let's get some outros. And because it's pretty late, let's get them pretty tempo. And let's start with Computer King. Greetings, I'm the Computer King, super villain and uh, gentleman. So I was playing Pain Dexter, and 
Um, I wasn't able to come up with any good quotes from Weird Science, and I really wanted to, but Damn. all the quotes from Weird Science sucked uh, <laughs> and didn't match the situation. <laughs> so after after that, I just I just played things as I as he would just talk to people. And yes, if you hear that, I have a cat in the background that wants my attention. Uh, <laughs> on every other Friday, I'm in the Immortal War, where I'm uh, Nagashida, who is sneaky, and uh, uh, we finally got all the, the two groups of uh, players together. We'll see how that works out when we uh, come across the per one person who's just as sneaky as I am. Uh, on Mondays, I'm in uh, the shard verse of the Shrike verses, or should it be a multi Shrike verse or whatever? Uh, where I play Lollipop, who looks like a giant brain on a spindly body, and uh, who likes to lord it over everyone that he's the smartest one in the room, or the ship, or the entire fleet. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, those are the things I'm doing right now. All right, excellent. Next, let's go to Brian. Uh, Brian, I played Connor. And <clears throat> well, it's going to be interesting having AI around. Mm. They're fun. Uh-huh. Yeah, someone doesn't know what she's getting herself into. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Right. Just keep telling yourself that. It'll be fine. It's okay. Mm -hmm. hey. If Mira is anywhere near like I am with this stuff, well, we'll leave it to your own imagination. But anyway, um, gee, that's all I'm really playing. And uh, the um, Mortal War, I try to show up, but my other game is, well, it's kind of interesting, but We'll leave it at that. Um, you can find me on um, where they're now hunkering down for the winter. And they've actually found some food, which is a good thing. Uh, that one you want to come out because it really is just survival. And it's kind of interesting what they get themselves into. Uh, on Sundays, this Sunday, I run Gloomfall, a lovely D&D 3.5 story set in the Underdirt. Last session, they had a lot of people show up and wanted to work for them. There's nothing going on about that. There's not, that's, that's normal where they are. <laughs> and um, Tuesdays will be a world of exploration. It's going to be a GURPS fantasy game. I was going to start it this Tuesday with actual session one, but I realized I have to go to a baseball game Tuesday in honor of my father-in-law's first anniversary of passing. So um, it'll be the week after. So right week on. Tuesday. It's eventually going to get started, but I now have three players, which is good. So it should be interesting. It's just going to be an open world. They get to explore stuff and find out what's out there and hopefully not die. And that's it for me. All right. Excellent. Next thing's next. Let's go to Daniel. Hola, it's your boy, Sesame Nasty. Uh, I played Omen and I made the new drug and I priced it and it's super cheap because it's it's not it doesn't really do much other than... Uh, Make you really, really happy and feel like you're in heaven and then make you feel like you fell to hell. So it's called Fallen Angel. Uh, and it's not going to be a street drug. It's just something he makes. Unless... Eh. Um, you can catch me here tomorrow in uh, The Immortal War where I have to lie to the Shogun or try to bend the truth enough that he believes me. And then you can catch me on Wednesday with Gideon the Ranger who... Uh, definitely, definitely doesn't just have like an arch demon in his head. No. Not at all. He's just got a cool weapon. And that's me. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Next, let's go to Amy. Hello. I'm taking notes. Uh, I'm Amy. Getting, uh, 
And and tonight I made a new friend who's probably not actually a friend, but it's fine. Also, I have employees now. That's quite exciting. At some point, I need to talk to them about getting paid. So we shall see if they are as good of a salesman as they are hacker people. And um, let's see, what else am I in? I'm in the Immortal War. Are we doing that tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, In the Immortal War, that's fun. I play a person has Izumi. a name named Izumi. <laughs> oh my God, yes. I'm sorry. I'll get there. I promise. Um, and then when I'm not doing that on Wednesdays, I'm also in Over the Horizon where Cyrus Smith likes to continually attempt to kill us or gaslight us. Honestly, I'm living for both of those things in RPG games. Uh, and that is that is me right now. That's me. All right. Next, let's go to a Scott. Okay, I'm Scott. I, I'm I'm completely normal. Trinix is fine. I don't know what y'all are worried about. Trinix is perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I have no idea what today is. Okay, let's start with Monday. I'm in Monday's game. I play a character in there, part of the forearm group. Yay. Tuesday, I'm going to be in the GURPS when we start that. Uh, thir- oh, wait, today's Thursday. Okay, now I'm caught up. Okay, and then Saturday, I'm in that one. After the bomb. Hey, and now they're not as mad as I thought they would be, but still get kind of the cold shoulder here and there. Whatever. And then Sunday, I'm in Gloomfall, where I'm raising a bunch of religious people to work for my boss lady. In the mines, maybe. I don't know. That's what we're going to do. Um, and that's it. Yeah. He has a sermon for that session. I'm yeah, this so is going to be high. interesting. Um, hell yes. Next, let's go to Cyrus. You know, the worst thing about being accused of gaslighting someone is you can't defend yourself because if you say, I'm not gaslighting you, it sounds like you're gaslighting even more. So I'm just not going to touch that. Um... And feel sad about it. Gaslight um, gatekeep girl boss. No. Speaking of gaslighting, I wonder how long it's going to be before Lucky realizes exactly what is down in the computer lab. And um, how much shit will rain down upon us because of it. Ten bucks says it's after somebody else outside of the club that is far more dangerous uh, finds out about it, which means then she has to be the responsible adult and not kill people. So anyways, you can also catch me this Sunday in Gloomfall. You can catch me Wednesday running over the horizon. And here, that's me. All right. Did I get Rowan already? No. Hey, Rowan. Go ahead, bud. No. Hi, whole friend of us. My name is Rowan, otherwise known as Nightheart. I'm here today playing Cachette, who is just a bundle of nerves at this point, because, ah, oh, fuck, I just wanted to sell guns and kill Nazis, and now I'm doing politics. I fucking hate this place. Welcome to New Amsterdam. It makes a politician of us all. Uh, you can also catch me here tomorrow, where I will be running the Immortal War, where, yes... Someone uh, accidentally oopsied the Oni, and now another person had to pretend to kill the Oni, and now has to talk to some other people. So there's some more politics, and also it's the first day, officially, of the Summer Festival, so there's going to be some fun and sun in time. Every other Friday, not for a little bit, for I'm going to take a couple weeks to get everything moved over and planned, we are going to go back, yes, back to Yaksha's. The Lancer mech system where everything sucks and my players are kind of the bad guys. Where they commit war crimes like nuking scientists and beating up the cash register at a CVS. Why do you only mention the things my character has done? (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say. Same, same. We have have a parent literally beating his adopted child. Yeah, we also Uh have that. Um, We have quintuple... Sex tuple agent. That's not illegal. It's not illegal to be that because we're someone not... teaching the computer virus that it's okay to be a sociopath. See, that wasn't me. Hey, well, you're doing that to me again. 
No, no. The other it's both of other us. NHP. Oh, the, the other one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, the the living virus, not the NHP. Uh, so yeah, it's a really fun time where everyone is a horrible person, and not even because they want to be. They just keep stumbling dick first into villainy. Um, you can also what? find me here. On Mondays in Shardverse, where I play Charity and Temperance, the brothers who are in combat. One's kind of fucking it up. The other one had his first combat roll, did a crit, and killed a bug. And that was pretty cool. You can also catch me here in Wednesdays, where I am in, where I play Sinel in Over the Horizon, who uh, is like, get out of my brain. And in one more level is going to become even more fucking bullshit because he is going to get more artificer bullshit. And that is it for me, I think. All right. Excellent. Which leaves just me, I believe. Yes, yes. Um, so, hello everybody. My name is Mira, also known as Mira Shades Gaming. Uh, you can catch me to, or you catched me, you caught me tonight running New Amsterdam, the game where the plot thickens every fucking session. Um, you can also catch me, um, on Sunday night where I'm going to be in Gloomfall playing Madame Yinrath, the woman who is getting her back pushed against the wall, uh, with so many terrifying people, uh, just going, Hey, I want to help you for free. You can catch me on Saturdays where I, every other Saturday, where I play Adam McCarthy to the chagrin of his own last name. And you can, uh, you can catch me on Mondays as the show bot. Uh, of Team Four Arms in um, uh, Shrikeverse, Chardverse, um, and also you can catch me on Friday in Immortal War, which will also be very fun, where I play Hiroki. And uh, is that all the games I'm in on the channel? I think that is. So, um, I am going to wrap up here, because it is very late, and I have a very bad throat. So we are going to leave with a Nozdrovia and get the heck out of here!